in six hours. Bruh, <laughs> it's not, that's not gonna happen. This is Ink Master, so step the f up, or step the f out. I got it. Just got done one. We can do another one. Make these tattoos strong, vibrant, do something that is very clear, very legible, very dynamic. Make them as real as you can, fighting for your lives. Fail to knock out your competition, and you will be going home. This week, we're testing you on color. The judges are looking for how saturated your color is, how rich, how vibrant, how hard it pops. For this elimination tattoo, we're going new school. Oh, wow. <laughs> new school's more cartoony pop vibe. You can exaggerate stuff. You can go as crazy as you want. New school tattoos are bold, bright, and include fantastical designs. Jesse is amazing at this <laughs> He's the baddest new schooler in the house. Five million people are gonna watch me kick your ass at this. Hey man, I hope so. I'm getting an underhand pitch in a baseball game. I mean, I gotta hit this out the park. Let's see what we got here. New School is basically loud color bomb cartoony tattooing. We're looking for the artist to use smooth blends, contrasting color and color palette to make the design pop. It's not nerve wracking or anything. Let's do the I think it looks just like them. Glad you like it. Being that this is a new school competition and new school is what I predominantly do, I should be in the top. Jesse Smith is a player in this game. He is the queen on the chessboard. I'm a new school kid, you know? I grew up doing new school, so I'm a lot more comfortable. I'm coming after that mother Two hours left. My client is leaving the color palette completely up to me. I'm gonna shine on this. So what's that across between like a Velociraptor and a lizard? And a T-Rex. And uh, whatever the f else I, uh, yeah. I thought would look cool. <laughs> I know colors, I can rock this. Now they're gonna see what I'm capable of. This week you had six hours to complete a new school tattoo. We're testing you on color. Sarah. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I had everything in my head. You put a lot of white, but you left a lot of skin breaks. So as this thing ages, it's gonna age nicely. Even the colors you did that aren't super vibrant, they're done right. The detail, the color, the eyes, the hat. And you're definitely one of the strongest competitors. Jesse. This is your lane, so this is what we expect. This is a clean, clean, clean tattoo. And you really show off this style. It's a great tattoo. Caricature, style, the nose, to the fine detail in the hair. Definitely one of my favorites of the day. You did a good job. Thank you. Two of you impressed us with your use of color, and two of you did not. Jesse, Sarah, you had the top tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Sarah. Good job, Sarah. You came back, you did exactly what we we're looking for, clean, solid, bold, bright color. Did a great job. This week, we are testing technical precision. If you don't have technical precision, your lines won't be in the right spot, your shading won't be solid, you'll basically just make a mess. Today, you'd better be on your A game because you're tattooing the toughest test of technical precision, a color portrait. This isn't something that's easy. If you can't technically tattoo the shadows and the precise lines, it's not going to look like the portrait, plain and simple. But that is not all. You must tattoo color portraits of characters who are recognizable to millions of fans all over the world. X-Men. Sweet. Oh. I can't screw this up. Or fans around the world are going to go, what the hell did you just do? When looking at a color portrait, you're looking for it to be an exact replica of the photo. Therefore, everything has to be precise. The eyes have to line up. The shading on the nose has to be just right. You have to capture every little essence of the face. Yeah, dude. Can't wait. Let's do it. I've done over 100 color portraits in my career. Not everybody knows how to do a color portrait. This is something that I know how to do. People say, you know, like, they've never done portraits. And I'm thinking, in the last three seasons, they've always done portraits. You had to assume that you were going to be doing a portrait. This is my specialty. I know I'm going to win this challenge. Like, how could you come into a competition like this and not get your together? I am so focused, there is no way that Maddie's gonna beat me. It's awesome, man. If he wins, he can validate his skill. If I win, you know, it's cool. 
Today, we ask you to use technical precision to create an X-Men color portrait. Sausage. I really, really like the background. It puts a comic book feel to a realistic portrait. Looking at this tattoo, it has so many tricks. You have great application. You have really solid fundamentals. Overall, man, good job. Halo. Halo, man, this is a great tattoo. Your skin tone is a lot darker than the photo. That is a good choice. You have to up the contrast on these light skin tones or else they're just gonna blend into the person's natural skin tone. King Ruck. You did the helmet straight out of the comic book. It looks like an illustration, but inside the face, you did a realistic color portrait. It made for a strong, bold tattoo that still has the aspects of a portrait in it. You took the comic book approach, but you still did a nice job. You just didn't listen, but you did a nice job. Scott. You stuck to the structure of the face. You kept the likeness of the character. Not going with the dark background around the hair, I think is a wise choice. This tattoo has a ton of technical precision. That nice, clean netting in that armor, it's beautiful. The glow in the background is nice. It's a good use of color palette, and overall, it's a really strong tattoo. There's one more person we'd like to have check out your portraits. He's the ultimate authority in these characters because he plays one of them. Tony, Emmy, and Golden Globe winning actor, Hugh Jackman. Yes. Hey, guys. How are you, hey? Wow, wow. How are you? Can I hug you? You can hug me. Of course you can. That's awesome. Hugh is here to check out your work and help us choose the winner. Honestly, all of them exceeded my expectations. The likeness, the detail, the character, the way you deal with not a blank canvas, but a curved canvas on the body, to me is astonishing. And as someone who lives in that world and hangs out with those people all the time, I can tell you every one of the actors would be blown away by what you've done. So you should be really proud. Do we have a winner? We do have a winner. And the winner is... Scott. As a veteran, you fought through the competition once before, so you now have the power to choose the next elimination tattoo. What's the next elimination tattoo? New school dinosaurs. Dino tats? Jimmy is the pioneer of new school. He's going for the win right out of the gate. I want to test these guys' drawing abilities. I think it's going to be pretty epic to see these artists get pushed to their artistic limit today. I can't put it into words how bad I want to win. I want to prove to myself I have what it takes to be the next Ink Master. You're doing great, man. Today we're doing color theory and new school. That's what I'm known for. I'm like a pig in right now. I wonder if they're going to judge us on an apples to apples comparison to mine and Jimmy's. All right. This is the Royal Rumble of new school challenges right now. Me and Jimmy Litwalk, boom, head to head. Nothing like jumping right into it. Gotta be on your toes, man, right off the gate. <sighs> I'm not your favorite person at the moment, am I? Right from the get-go, my canvas is in pain. Ooh, I'll be better when everything is over and done with. I just hope she doesn't stop in the middle of this and just f me over. For me, I just wanted to have a fun day. That's why I chose this particular piece. Sausage. Little slippery ass wiener gets the best canvas pick, and I really hope he biffs it like he usually does. Brakes on there, huh? Chain doesn't have any links, but you got some brake lines. That's more ammo to just pick on you. Right. <laughs> I know I'm not known for new school, but you can't underestimate me. You kicking ass, taking names, or what? I'm trying to. Today, Jimmy challenged you to tattoo his specialty, new school, and we're judging color theory. Clean. This thing's dynamic. The balance that you have here between hot and cold, the little green that you have underneath set off with the turquoises and aqua colors, and even the white that pops off the backside of the head. All great color theory, all great color use. Sausage. The color saturation is perfect. All these little details you have in the teeth with the different color highlights, even the front fork of the bicycle has those little recessed notches for the axle plates to go through. All tattoos are far from perfect, but this one is pretty close. The little blue outline that you put around this character, it just pops off the skin really well. In a color theory challenge, it's little details like that that really makes this thing awesome. 
Anthony. I like this tattoo. It's a weird thing that she asked for, a purple dinosaur that's a unicorn blowing bubbles, yet I know what it is. This is legible and readable, and it's a solid job, man. Because you stuck to doing one thickness of an outline, the tattoo looks very clean. And in the end, it's a really nicely wearable tattoo. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Today, you must prove that you understand legibility by tattooing watercolor tattoos. Awesome. Watercolor tattoos are by far the least legible tattoo style I can think of. It can't work together. These tattoos mimic watercolor brush strokes to create vibrant images. And although these tattoos play fast and loose with both color and shape, it's still crucial that you make sure your tattoo is legible. Watercolor tattoos can be a muddy mess. Colors could run into each other, and it's going to be hard to tell what it is. <laughs> Bleeding. Can't look. This is the first time in the competition that I'm finally allowed to do color. So my strategy is to do an absolute color bomb with this tattoo. I like the design. It's going to have like a frosted kind of look to it. It's a good day for Kelly. Oh. That one spot killed. A load of adrenaline running through me right now. <laughs> Get that adrenaline buzz. Kevin gave me the tattoo that I wanted, and I'm so stoked. Coming off of that flash challenge, I need to kill it in this tattoo. I'm going to get whatever strength I have left and just pull it all out and do a killer job. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Take a look. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Team Nunez, today you had to show legibility by creating a watercolor tattoo that's readable from across the room. Eric. Well, Eric, I like your graphic image of the eye. I love the center of the pupil. I love the iris. My biggest problem with this is this blue and these negative space white circles in there. I like it. I think you did a great job. The color that you did where the magenta color and the blue mix, it looks like it got diluted on the skin. That hits watercolor. I think you nailed this tattoo, man. Thank you. Nikki. Your color splats go with each shape of the heart, and you actually create a lot of cool textures and depth with your color tones. It's a super smooth technique. The use of the black and the way that you gave it that brush stroke feel, it has a really strong look, and it will hold up as to what it is over time. I think you did a great job here. Thank you. <sighs> Kelly. It looks like light colors of watercolor have been blended. Every color you have blends very smoothly to very dark tones and even black. I think this tattoo is great. The ink really flows, bleeding the colors and really seeing the ink move in the lower portion of the neck with then your little highlights. That really shows nicely the color play and the looseness. You really do a stand-up job here. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Chris, this is your team. I like Nikki and Kelly. Nikki and Kelly crushed this challenge. I tried making it look as true to the actual paint and moving of watercolors. Kelly's looks like a really smooth tattoo, and Nikki's really looks like a painting. And Nikki's looks like only watercolors were used. Based on the technique and the effort of moving the color around the skin, I'm with Nikki. I agree. I'm going with Nikki as well. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Nikki. Well done. It's awesome. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Tim, Amanda, and Chris, you are all up for elimination. But you have one last chance to save yourself. Tomorrow, the three of you must face off in a final six-hour knockout tattoo. That's a bottom tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Clean, since your team has the most artists saved from elimination, you've earned the power to assign the style and subject matter for the knockout tattoo. Come on. <laughs> what style and subject must they tattoo? Color, realism, bouquet of flowers. In six hours. Bruh, <laughs> it's not, that's not gonna happen. This is Ink Master, so step the f 
up or step the f out. I got it. Just got done one. We can do another one. Make these tattoos strong, vibrant. Do something that is very clear, very legible, very dynamic. Make them as real as you can. Fight for your lives. Fail to knock out your competition, and you will be going home. I'm going to turn just a little bit this way. Good deal. If I was you, I would outline the individual pedal. So I was going to honestly go in and outline especially like these ones here, the ones that are overlapping. And just make sure you can tell the difference in between some of the petals or whatever, so. Yeah. My goal is to help out my teammates, and my true teammates are Amanda and Tim. They need my help, I'm there for them all day. Let's get the bottom real quick. Hey, make sure, if you can, extend that bottom out. Make it longer? Yeah, because you want to have it look like it's together, like that. We planned it out to where Chris needed to go home next. It's going to happen. You have four hours left, everybody. Four hours to go. I'll tell you what, if you get this main flower done and looking this good, the other two are a lot easier. Yeah. Get that little piece of that orange one that, that sits between there, and you get hmm. right there. TJ, why don't you just get in there and do the tattoo for her? Jesus. Hey, that's what teamwork is for, baby. Man, oh man. I didn't see you over there helping Chris like that. TJ's helping out Amanda and Tim, so I guess I'm just getting pushed to the side again. How's everybody doing? Everybody's doing pretty good. It's good to hear. They're gonna stab me in the back. I know it, they know it, 100%. And two hours remain, everybody. Two hours remain. Stop out. Why? I, I need just five minutes. <sighs> I'm gonna give you just one second. Let me finish this couple of spots. And I'm gonna need you to hurry back because I can't go home. I just need a five minute break. <laughs> Come back in four. It sucks because I'm in the heat of the moment, working as diligently as possible, and my canvas, she keeps asking for breaks, and like right now, I have zero time for breaks. How the hell am I supposed to finish this tattoo? I'll tell you what, here would be my advice, is especially if she's having a rough time at all, I would map your darks in mm -hmm. on the greens and stuff, mm -hmm. and that way you can blast through and make sure you're finished. Oh my gosh. Thank you so better much. better now? I'll survive. Final hour, one hour left. I'm leaving it. I'm done. You got one hour. You know what? F it. I'm finished with this tattoo. I did what I needed to do. I got in and out, and I'd rather be finished early than f it all up and finish late. Check it out. Wow. It's like a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. One, that's it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink. Alrighty, girl, we are all done. Seriously, you need to do this more often and stop doing new school. I ain't gonna stop doing new school. I mean, I'm just saying. Bouquets, bro. Three of them. Well, that one's just like a bunch of flowers. Doesn't really come across as a bouquet. That's the problem. Exactly. Because when all three people do a solid ass tattoo, you do not want to have to debate it. Exactly. Today, you had to fight against your own teammates to stay in this competition. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Tim, let's start with you. You made a really smart choice on the flower. It has a lot of contrast, even though they're the same color, same three kind of flowers, same tones, you still have definition where each petal of each flower stops and starts. You capture the really nice highlight of the internal section of the flower by using that skin. That makes your yellow nice and bright when you reach for the right color. This dark, rich school bus yellow, strong. You take the cake on this one. Amanda. There is really nice detail in the stems, in the leaves, in the wrapping, in this front facing orange flower. I like all the skin breaks in there, making that thing breathe. Your use of outlines really helps bring these flowers forward. 
From a distance, very clear what it is, very bright, but the red flowers looks a little muddy. It has almost more of a camouflage-like feel to it. Like, it's a dark tone, and then you come off to a pink. It's just very harsh, it's very abrupt. Overall, your color palette's dynamic in your flowers, but I don't think the execution of the way you put the color in hits the realism challenge. It just doesn't have that soft, photographic look to it. Chris. First look at this tattoo, it's pretty slick. The colors do stand vibrant. You got some rich colors, you got some bright colors. The ribbon here is the shining moment. It stands out nicely. My only thing is that it would not have bummed me out one bit if you would have taken it to a little bit darker tones on the edges just to create a border so that this tattoo has a little bit more strength. I didn't want to chew him up. Yeah, that's horse <laughs> You think an outline's gonna chew him up? Give me a break. It's not going for the win. That's my point. Who's goes down to final six and says, it's good enough. It's the same thing, bro. How the f am I supposed to coach that? Okay, judges, it's time to determine who's going home. A man is straight up and down. You can tell exactly what those are. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Mine's three flowers tied together with twine. If it was ribbon day, Chris takes it. Above the ribbon, though, it's hard to see what's going on. What was the ask today? It was a bouquet, right? I see two bouquets and some flowers, but I do not see three bouquets, and we were asked to do bouquets. A uh, definition of bouquet is a creative arrangement of flowers, period. That looks like it's just one plant with three flowers coming off it. I think it's bull Tim hits the bouquet. You can read Tim's bouquet, all separate flowers from a distance. So in my opinion, Tim's safe. What do you think? I second that. For this challenge, you must push past the ordinary and create new school tattoos. <laughs> you guys heard of the shit, new school? What is it? Sensation, sweeping the nation. I'm so excited. This is like my shit. A lot of people have the preconceived notion that a new school tattoo is a giant head with big googly eyes and a tiny little body, but it's more than that. And you have to know how to draw for this style. No matter how exaggerated the features or crazy the design, if your tattoo doesn't have solid color theory, it will fall flat. Timmy, are you going to need No problem. New school tattooing calls for big, bright, bold, solid color with big, heavy black outlines to really push things forward. This is like one of the hardest things I had to draw. I believe it, but I think this is probably one I'm most excited for. A lot of new school designs are known to be warped, and you have this very cartoonish, but very well colored, very well rendered design that's like a graphic artist dream. So cute. <laughs> you ready to start? Yep. Here we go. Stop holding your breath when you pull that line. As you pull that line, exhale. Okay. This is the challenge that I have been most fearful of this whole time. It's just the exact opposite of what I actually do. Don't treat this like a black and gray tattoo. Everything that you would make a true, true black is only where you're gonna put black. You're familiar with doing realism. So think about like where you would put a wash, use a color, okay? Oh. Yeah, thank you. Makes sense? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I love him. He's like the best coach ever. If I could put him in my pocket, and take him home and have him like tell me how to tattoo all the time, I would. Her's the cutest booty doll ever. I can't stop smiling when I see this tattoo. <laughs> Confidence builder. I feel very in my comfort zone right now, not only because it's a style that I'm comfortable with, but I'm very comfortable with the design. It was so much fun. <laughs> I chose it because my husband would love it. This tattoo has a lot of like aspects of it that remind me of my husband. He's inspirational to me, so I'm going to use his energy in this tattoo. Apparently I missed the big one. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Woo! Oh, yeah, man. That's real nice. There you go. Come check it out. That's dope. I guess. <laughs> so cool. You guys crushed it. <laughs> guys, I'm, I might I might not go to the bottom. I don't think no, so. No, 100% I really don't. not. I'm shocked. I don't know what I, I'm going to do with myself. I'm going to say this. I don't think any one of my girls or any one of my team are going down. Fingers crossed. Today, you had to show solid color theory by creating a new school tattoo. Holly. I like the color play in this tattoo a lot. I really love how smooth the skin tone is. And you've got very smooth, blended colors. You've got a lot of nice tricks in this tattoo. Alexis. Hey. I really like this one. I like this drawing. I like the dynamics of it. I like the leg kicked out. I like the way the hand's holding the cup. 
You do multiple light sources so you have the blue to the right side, yellow to the left. Nice tricks. Keep tattooing like this. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's my friend. Laura. The hat on this thing's really, really nice. That soft black rolls into your darker red, boom, pops right out. I also love the fact that the light seems to be illuminating from the martini, like it's some sort of electric cocktail. Another smooth women's team tattoo. High five me. Danny. Get it, girl. You did a great job with this illustration. Great color theory, great color play. All the elements stand apart because they're colored right. Typically, we're harping on a bolder outline, but because the color looks the way it looks, you kind of get a little bit of a pass on this. This tattoo is really, really good. Good job, girl. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The ladies' team killed it. But out of them, who did the bold outline, the biggest, strongest dive into the overall look of a new school tattoo, I can easily say Alexis did it. It's unanimous. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Alexis. Thank you so Great much. Thank you so much. We got that top, bitches. And congratulations. Today, you must push your creativity to the limit and create a new school food tattoo. What? What's going to show off color theory more than a new school tattoo? They're super colorful, bright tattoos with a lot of dynamic shapes. I'm down to eat that up. Oh, man, this is going to get real wacky. Food tattoos in general are a little strange to me. You need to stop trying to make art out of food. Food is to be eaten. Just eat it. My team's definitely in hot water here. The only way that I can help is if I make sure I focus on this tattoo and get tattoo of the day. It's absolutely new school traditional. You might start a new fad. Jesus Christ, Jason. Just trying to ruffle your feathers. Get you off the game. This crawfish looks like he's about to get cooked alive. And I'm cool with that because the South and the West, they're about to get cooked alive. And I'm about to paint a portrait of their destiny. Yeah, I'm gonna get tattoo of the day on this shit. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. That looks great. That shit's new school as f I don't know what Jason's talking about. <laughs> Today, you had to show color theory with a new school food tattoo. Let's see how you did. Jarrell. On the color theory side, you really hit this thing, especially in the whipped cream, where you use four colors to give that dollop some dimension. The purple comes over the back, goes into the brown, butts up to the green. That's good color theory. Raul. Phyllis? I think this is one of your strongest outings. My favorite part is the hand in the foreground. I like the color theory. I like how you take that front of the thumb, you leave that skin break in it to show the light. Little purple, little darker purple, and the blue. But what's the defining characteristics of a bagel? It has a hole in the middle. Without the hole, is it a bagel? Jimmy. This has a very new school feel. The shading in the lemon with the blue on one side, the lobster with the yellow on one side and the blue on the other. You have a little bit of green in the eyes and you throw a little bit of green into the tail and a little bit of green into the leaves. The color play makes the dynamics of the image. Thank you. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Immediately, obviously, Jimmy is a strong contender. I'm with Jimmy. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. That's a first. Ever? Ever. Hell yeah, man. Welcome to Ink Master. Thanks. For this elimination tattoo, we're going new school. Oh. <laughs> New School's more cartoony pop vibe. You can't exaggerate stuff. You can go as crazy as you want. New School tattoos are bold, bright, and include fantastical designs. Jesse is amazing at this <laughs> He's the baddest New Schooler in the house. Five million people are going to watch me kick your ass at this. Hey, man, I hope so. I'm getting an underhand pitch in a baseball game. I mean, I got to hit this out the park. And your time begins 
now. Good luck, JC. Let's see what we got here. New School is basically loud, color bomb, cartoony tattooing. We're looking for the artist to use smooth blends, contrasting color, and color palette to make the design pop. It's not nerve wracking or anything. Let's do the I think it looks just like them. Glad you like it. Being that this is a new school competition and new school is what I predominantly do, I should be in the top. Jesse Smith is a player in this game. He is the queen on the chessboard. I'm a new school kid, you know? I grew up doing new school, so I'm a lot more comfortable. I'm coming after that mother Two hours left. My client is leaving the color palette completely up to me. I'm gonna shine on this. So what's that across between like a Velociraptor and a lizard? And a T-Rex. And uh, whatever the f else I, uh, yeah. I thought would look cool. <laughs> I know colors, I can rock this. Now they're gonna see what I'm capable of. Three, two, one, time's up, that's it. Machine's down, no more ink. You done? Ta-da! So awesome. This week, you had six hours to complete a new school tattoo. We're testing you on color. Sarah. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I had everything in my head. You put a lot of white, but you left a lot of skin breaks. So as this thing ages, it's going to age nicely. Even the colors you did that aren't super vibrant, they're done right. The detail, the color, the eyes, the hat. And you're definitely one of the strongest competitors. Jesse. This is your lane, so this is what we expect. This is a clean, clean, clean tattoo, and you really show off this style. It's a great tattoo. Caricature, style, the nose, to the fine detail in the hair. Definitely one of my favorites of the day. You did a good job. Thank you. Two of you impressed us with your use of color, and two of you did not. Jesse, Sarah, you had the top tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day Goes to Sarah. Good job, Sarah. You came back, you did exactly what we we're looking for. Clean, solid, bold, bright color. Did a great job. I'm gonna do a popsicle today. Ah, freaking popsicle. You have 90 minutes and your time begins now. I draw a lot of new school, but it usually ends up being more like animals and stuff. Coming off the mandala, I'm really excited to go into this popsicle. I know that I'm gonna kill this tattoo and probably do a better job than Craig. Time is up, no more ink. <sighs> this week, you had to prove your endurance and versatility in a tattoo marathon. A trip to the live finale is on the line. Let's see how you did. Matt. How did you find the marathon, the banging out four different styles, different tattoos in a short amount of time? I mean, honestly, it's a very intense thing for sure. Craig's new school popsicle. The color in this is really strong, really saturated. And I'll really commend you on just the outline on the outside of this. Really perfect, bold outline that's consistent all the way around. The thing's bulletproof. Craig. Your own design. It just doesn't have a lot of colorful pop to it like I was expecting it to from you. The black shading underneath that the color is saturated over the top, it's just not as smooth. Damn. Cruzman. Craig's new school design. The orange creamsicle color is nice, but everybody else did a lot of interesting color play between the actual popsicle itself and the bite. You kind of didn't get that dynamic color play in there. Chris. Craig's new school design. I love the palette that you chose to use here. The teeth marks going all the way through the different layers. I'm also a fan of the texture you put into the popsicle itself. This is night and day from that geometric tattoo. I'm surprised that Craig isn't the obvious winner here. 
I really like what Craig did, but just the overall vibrance isn't there where I see it in Chris's and in Matt's too. I really like the cleanliness that Matt pulls off in this thing. That coming out and showing us this color bomb saturation does show a lot more versatility. I'm leaning towards Matt's. You will have six hours to tattoo a new school dinosaur. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. You're doing great, man. Today we're doing color theory and new school. That's what I'm known for. I'm like a pig in right now. I wonder if they're gonna judge us on the apple to apple comparison to mine and Jimmy's. All right. This is the Royal Rumble of new school challenges. Right now, me and Jimmy Litwalk. Boom, head to head. Nothing like jumping right into it. You gotta be on your toes, man, right off the gate. Who was gonna for you since you've been here? Everybody. Oh, really? Because I walked in the door. Instant target on you, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gotta be a kick in the nuts. Coming back into this competition, the caliber of artists have definitely raised. We can call them newbies or whatever you want, but they're not new to tattooing. They're just new to this competition. You have a lot of great artists competing, so you have to be great every single time. <sighs> I'm not your favorite person at the moment, am I? Right from the get-go, my canvas is in pain. Ooh, I'll be better when everything is over and done with. I just hope she doesn't stop in the middle of this and just me over. For me, I just wanted to have a fun day. That's why I chose this particular piece. Sausage. Little slippery-ass wiener gets the best canvas pick, and I really hope he biffs it like he usually does. Brakes on there, huh? Chain doesn't have any links, but you got some brake lines. That's more ammo to just pick on you. Right. <laughs> I know I'm not known for new school, but you can't underestimate me. You're kicking ass, taking names, or what? Trying to. I'm here to get you $100,000. Maddie's got a vendetta, so I'm going to have my sights on you, and I'm going to be firing so that you can get a taste of what it was like to be me. Today, Jimmy challenged you to tattoo his specialty, new school, and we're judging color theory. Jimmy, you're up first. It's a wonderful drawing. The line weights are awesome throughout this tattoo, the dynamics, but it's pretty dark. The trick with that heavy black is to let the bright color show. Clean. This thing's dynamic. The balance that you have here between hot and cold, the little green that you have underneath set off with the turquoises and aqua colors, and even the white that pops off the backside of the head. All great color theory, all great color use. Put this much color into this large of an area and have it be this saturated with this little trauma to the skin. You're putting up the bar for these guys to catch up with. Sausage. It's a top-notch tattoo, man. The color saturation is perfect. All these little details you have in the teeth with the different color highlights, even the front fork of the bicycle has those little recessed notches for the axle plates to go through. All tattoos are far from perfect, but this one is pretty close. The little blue outline that you put around this character, it just pops off the skin really well. In a color theory challenge, it's little details like that that really makes this thing awesome. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Sausage. Now my vote's for clean. It's just massive. It has everything to it. It's what Sausage did and more. I like them both. I like both applications. I think Sausage had a little bit more breathability, which appeals to me, so I vote for Sausage. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. You will have six hours to tattoo a famous landmark, new school style. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I'm not a fast tattooer. I'm still trying to adapt to this competition. I need to speed things up. Every which way I'm stretching this girl's skin, I can't do a straight line to save my life. What up, man? What happened? You having problems? Switched out like three machines already. I might not be able to finish this tattoo. Two more hours to go. I 
was a little nervous at first because I saw one of the new school tattoos. I don't know, like there was like makeup on it. I have like a style that I do for like feminine new school and then I have a style that I do for like masculine new school. It's just a little bit bolder. My canvas is a little nervous about my design, but he's going with it. The pressure for me to do a really, really good job on New School Day is absolutely astronomical. Kelly's is awesome. It's not even finished yet, and it already looks like a Coliseum. And it's New School, and it's everything the guy wanted. Team Nunez, today you had to show artistry by transforming a famous landmark into a New School tattoo. Eric, let's start with you. Overall, your background and the way you played the negative into it works really well for your design. You have some really nice line work, some nice areas here. You have a lot of small, thin parallel lines. I love the juxtaposition of these really bright colors and the primarily black and gray structure gives this building some life. One of the things about making an inanimate landmark new school is to make it become a character, and I think that you hit that. Kelly. Testing artistry today is where you really shine. This is a great drawing, great illustration. The details are spot on. The way you executed the Coliseum is brilliant. I did morph it a little bit, but I wanted to keep it somewhat true to form and then use other elements to bring in a more new school-y kind of feel. The artistry stands strong. The way that the character fades off before it hits the Coliseum and that color blast comes out, it's a great use of contrast. The details in the musculature of the guy and the skin tone, the scratches in his face, it's great tattooing. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Eric and Kelly? I agree, those are my top two. If you just compare the quality and the detail in Kelly's Coliseum to the Taj Mahal, really over the top. Eric definitely put his balls on the chopping block and did a load of tiny little straight lines side by side by side by side and just owned it. We're talking about artistry. Kelly had the foresight to plan alcoves and little windows lined in red because this thing is gonna be glowing from the inside. I mean, she drew that figure from scratch. I think that the artistry shows really, really strong. My vote's for Kelly. I'm going with Eric. I'm going for Kelly. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Kelly. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Gian and Nate, this is your last chance to earn a spot in the live finale by tattooing a new school landmark. You have five hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Just to use like a little bit of tangerine and do it real washy. I'm really nervous about doing this design. I don't even know where to start. If you're nervous, like, go in really softly on some of the highlights. Kelly is showing me how she draws New School, and I'm listening to every little bit she's giving to me. Just to make that black look nice and rich. She's got a tattoo like it's the last day of my life to make sure I got a win. Where's her other boot? Oh. Gotta indicate that somewhere. I don't need somebody else around trying to mess up what I'm doing. I've been tattooing a lot longer than Kelly Ryan, so I don't need somebody interrupting and giving me their two cents worth. How much, like, orange do you think you're gonna put in? In that flame? In her. I don't know if I'm gonna put any. You couldn't hear my eyebrows raising just now, but they did. The entire basis of New School is making things dynamic, and dynamic would also mean dynamic color play. Mmm, not 100% sure on that. John and Nate, that is two hours left. Two hours, guys. Leave yourself enough time to put that bright color in, okay? I'm throwing everything I got into this tattoo. I've never been to the bottom. Nate has been to the bottom so many times. He's trying to convince people that he's doing it on purpose. Bull Nate should go home and stick his strategy up his ass. One, that's it, machine's down, no more ink. Today, you had to tattoo a new school landmark. This was your last chance to earn the final spot. Dion, let's start with you. 
I really love this drawing. I really like the expression in her face. She has the typical new school big eyes, but the ending of the tattoo is my favorite part. The way that that piece of robe comes across and gives us that open blowing shape is a very nice way to end the tattoo and keep it soft. All the little details really stand strong, like the fingers grasping the tablet, the little shadow from the top finger on the tablet, the shadow on the neck underneath the chin, all these expert tricks that are really nice in there. You've taken a character, which is a statue, and you've put life into it. I love that. Thanks, man. Nate. I really do like what you came up with here. Face came out really nice. You have that detailed chain at the bottom breaking free, symbolizing freedom and liberty. It pops the little orange blast behind it, pushes the aqua forward. The line weight that you use over the top of the crown is really strong and really solid. You really punch the eyes in with those heavy lines. As far as the design goes, only having one boob that's sticking out has a strange feel to it. But you definitely did a bright, vibrant tattoo. Thanks. John and Nate, one of you is headed to the live finale, and one of you is about to close shop. Time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. These are both bulletproof. For me, I love Gian's nose and lips way more than Nate's nose and lips, but I like Nate's eyes. Nate has a nicer torch. More elaborate torch. I like Gian's flame a lot. That little bit of yellow highlight on the edge of the crown, I really think helps a lot. I don't know why you didn't do that, Nate. Uh, showing that glare. That's new school trick 101. Yeah, the light source. I was thinking about it, but my torch is more behind her. What's going on, Kelly? You're making a little face over there. What are you thinking? I really wanted to see that highlight, too. She was telling me to do it, but I mean, I just, I didn't. Two great tattoos that are very similar, but the most life that I get out of both of them is John's. Who had the best tattoo of the day? This is it. My final vote's for Gian. My vote is for Gian as well. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Congratulations, buddy. You are headed to the live finale. Amazing. You'll have six hours to show your ingenuity by tattooing a unique new school design. Based on your work, one shop will be out. Good luck. Sweet. Go time. Let's do it. All right. Doing a new school tattoo in a competition setting can be difficult because there's a million styles of new school. Like that? Just a little bit more. Boom. These artists are going to have to use ingenuity because we've seen it all. We're looking for these guys to come out and be original and take a swing at having fun with a piece of art. Are right, you ready? Six hours, Bobby. If you can't sit, hey, if no, you can't good, sit through, good. we're gonna have to tell you just stop it. We're gonna no, have no, to go tattoo for it, ourselves. Go for it. Go. I'm, I'm good. I don't mean to be like that, but it's serious to us. It's like 200 grand. I'll suck it up. This kid's chewing his arm off. He's shaking. I'm about to lose it on this canvas right now. What you working on? I'm drawing just in case you can't sit <laughs> and we have to tattoo each other. I'm not gonna leave on you. All right, all right. <laughs> I've worked so hard in my career to get to this point. If this kid sends us home, I don't know what I'll do. Three hours to go, guys. Switch it up. Switch. Tag, you're it. Looking clean. Cool, thank you. The second he said his idea, I had a picture in my mind of how I wanted it to look, and that's always a good sign. So what is that thing again, a rotary? It's a rotor from a rotary engine. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Even though we were given really difficult canvases, for the most part, the Alliance is killing it. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity. Christian, this challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Old Town Inc. I love how vibrant the space in the background of this thing is. It's just enough to let you know what's going on. That shows ingenuity. Space is tricky, man. You did it right by leaving a lot of this open skin in the astronaut, so you use that contrast to your benefit. I love the way the tattoo ends. It doesn't end the same way all around, but it just has a very fluid flow. It's a killer tattoo, and I don't have much to complain about. Unkindness art. There's a lot of really great shining effects in this tattoo. The outline throughout is super clean. You have multiple dynamic light sources coming from each direction, and it hits the image all in the right spot. The green glow from the bottom and then the blue glow from the top is intense, and it looks really cool. It definitely shows a lot of ingenuity in drawing this. Thank you. Thank you. OK, guys, time to announce tattoo of the day. Old Town and Unkindness. 
The best thing of the day is in unkindness, the eyes, the purple wrinkles, but I don't like the green swirl. In the Old Town tattoo, the way this background was done, that looks really good. I like the really dark background against the light suit. Yeah, that black gives this thing that believable dimension. I'll make it easy. My vote is for Old Town. Old Town. Chris. Old Town it is. Ah, the judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Old Town Inc. Coaches, today you must face off in your first grudge match. Yes. Clean's clean house, man. I've been waiting a long time to go head to head with Christian because I'm once and for all gonna shut him up. This is what I came here to do. For this grudge match, you must each create two two-hour tattoos. Oh. It's one thing doing a tattoo and doing it at a good pace, but to do a consistent, flawless tattoo in two hours, I mean, that's insane. Do you want to know what I could do in two hours? A whole lot of nothing. One of you will determine the style and subject for the first tattoo, and the other coach will determine the style and subject for the second tattoo. Uh-oh. He's going to do black and gray realism. Guaranteed. There's a lot on the line here today. You guys have talked a lot of to each other. A lot of <laughs> Go get them. We're going to do new school, hot rod related imagery. I know I could kill it. All right, Christian, you get to name the style and subject for the second tattoo. We'll go with a black and gray realistic bat. I've always thought that was a weakness to cleans. I got to hit him where it hurts. All right, let's do this. Go ahead and stand up for me, man. Want a pillow for between his legs? Yeah, because I'm going to be hammering down. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Son of a bitch. I'm starting to realize what it feels like to be coached because I've got all these people hovering over me and it's making me super nervous. I raised four kids and five grandkids. One of the things I've always stressed to them is that no matter what, you never give up. I've spent the last year on the road studying, training, and I'm here to win. He's a jackhammer. Holy Watching Clean Tattoo is crazy. I've never seen anybody work so fast and energetic. It clearly shows that Clean knows exactly what he's doing. I tattoo how I want to get tattooed. Get it the f done, mother f Christian's a one-trick pony. I mean, he could talk the game, but guess what? I invented the game. There's no way he's going to live up to this one. 30 minutes remain, guys. 30 more minutes. to those yellow soon, Clean. I need more time. Clean done yet? No. He's stressing a little bit right now. Clean, are you done yet? I don't want to hear that I'm so scared. Hold me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. Hold it out at the end. I'm gonna go change my drawers. Get ready for your second tattoo. Oh, Jesus. All right, it's time to critique your work. Clean, we'll start with you. How'd it go? Great, man. I tried to make my new school tattoo as smooth as I could in the short amount of time. I really like the tattoo. The illustration is strong. I like the play on the bat wings back at your adversary. The chrome work on it is exactly what you expect to see in a really good new school tattoo. Strong color play and very smooth, strong fades. Thank you. It's pretty badass. I'm just going to admit it. He has a light coming out of the end of the spark plug. He's definitely had wings coming around the sides of it. I'm, I'm a little nervous. All right, Christian, you're next up. I like this take on this style of new school with the big face popping out in the center of the spark plug. Overall, the dynamic colorlessness has to really make it pop. It is a solid, consistent sticker tattoo. Thank you. I can't even tell it's a spark plug. It looks like a crushed can. Final decision. I got to go with clean. For overall legibility, I'm going with Christian. My vote's for Christian. Yes! Yeah. The judges have decided the winner of the grudge match is Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to have six hours to demonstrate color theory by creating new school tattoos. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your bags. Good luck. You kids just have fun. This I can't stop smiling when I see this tattoo. <laughs> Confidence builder. I feel very in my comfort zone right now, not only because it's a style that I'm comfortable with, but I'm very comfortable with the design. Oh, so much fun. 
I chose it because my husband would love it. This tattoo has a lot of like aspects of it that remind me of my husband. He's inspirational to me, so I'm gonna use his energy in this tattoo. Apparently I missed the big lug. One, that's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Woo! Oh yeah, man, that's real nice. There you go, can you check it out? That's dope. Well, I guess. <laughs> so cool. Sick. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. You guys crushed it. <gasps> guys, I'm not, I, might, I might not go to the bottom. I don't think so. No, 100% I really don't. not. I'm shocked. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I'm gonna say this, I don't think any one of my girls or any one of my team are going down. Fingers crossed. Today, you had to show solid color theory by creating a new school tattoo. Now, unfortunately, Kelly had a family emergency and she's not gonna be with us today. Oh, man, everything's all right. She sends her regrets to the men's team. She wishes she could be here to support you guys, but she said that you guys all kicked ass and did your very best. And having said that, let's get into the critiques. Men's team, you're up first. Jason. You got a lot of tricks in this. The color play between the dog and the cat is a smart choice because they both stand clear. The details in the guts of the cat get that really gross texture there. Super cool effect. This is the outlines that we want to see. Use those thick lines to push things and pull things forward. That's a big staple of the new school style. It's using your line weights as a part of the creativity and the design. For the men's team, you stand out today. Thanks, guys. Alexis. I really like this one. I like this drawing. I like the dynamics of it. I like the leg kicked out. I like the way the hand's holding the cup. You do multiple light sources, so you have the blue to the right side, yellow to the left. Nice tricks. Keep tattooing like this. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's my friend. Laura. The hat on this thing's really, really nice. That soft black rolls into your darker red, boom, pops right out. I also love the fact that the light seems to be illuminating from the martini, like it's some sort of electric cocktail. Another smooth women's team tattoo. High five me. Danny. Get it, girl. You did a great job with this illustration. Great color theory, great color play. All the elements stand apart because they're colored right. Typically, we're harping on a bolder outline, but because the color looks the way it looks, you kind of get a little bit of a pass on this. This tattoo is really, really good. Good job, girl. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The ladies' team killed it. But out of them, who did the bold outline, the biggest, strongest dive into the overall look of a new school tattoo, I can easily say Alexis did it. My vote's for Alexis. Oh my god. It's unanimous. Judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Alexis. Thank you so Great much. Day. That means so much. We got that top, bitches. And congratulations. My hose. You'll have six hours to demonstrate color theory by creating a new school food tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your bags. Good luck. All right. My team's definitely in hot water here. The only way that I can help is if I make sure I focus on this tattoo and get tattoo of the day. It's absolutely new school traditional. You might start a new fad. Jesus Christ, Jason. Just trying to roll for your feathers. Get you off the game. This crawfish looks like he's about to get cooked alive. And I'm cool with that because the South and the West, they're about to get cooked alive. And I'm about to paint a portrait of their destiny. Yeah, I'm gonna get tattooed of the day on this shit. Today, you had to show color theory with a new school food tattoo. Let's see how you did. Jarrell. On the color theory side, you really hit this thing, especially in the whipped cream where you use four colors to give that dollop some dimension. The purple comes over the back, goes into the brown, butts up to the green. That's good color theory. Jimmy. This has a very new school feel. The shading in the lemon with the blue on one side, the lobster with the yellow on one side and the blue on the other. You have a little bit of green in the eyes and you throw a little bit of green into the tail and a little bit of green into the leaves. The color play makes the dynamics of the image. Super cool. Thank you. 
All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Immediately, obviously, Jimmy is a strong contender. For the best color pop and color saturation and vibrant, I'm going with Jimmy. I'm with Jimmy. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. That's a first. Ever? Ever. Hell yeah, man. Welcome to Ink Master. Thanks. Craig and Jimmy, you guys gotta do three scoops of ice cream. I better be able to taste these damn things when you're done. <laughs> All right? Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Let's tattoo. Rock and roll. This is the ultimate new school showdown. Craig and Jimmy are new school titans. Craig called out three scoops Sunday. I better see great drawings, super awesome tattooing, bright, bold, new school to the max. This is gonna be epic. Ready? Oh, dude, no, this is what I want to see from you. Between me and Jimmy, we could fill up a snack store with the amount of snacks that we have tattooed on people. Four little faces, huh? <laughs> Each one more adorable this than the next. Like, oh, the cool thing about new school tattooing, there's no rules to it. Like, that's why we do it. But at the same time, you got to make it interesting. It's just all about creativity. And I think that's what the whole point is. Are you even using a color reference? You just know in your mind what it's supposed to be. Yes, yep. eating lots of ice cream. I know that I've pushed myself to the limits. I've exaggerated every element that I possibly can you know, with faces and fun and textures and little bitty element designs that I know that Craig is definitely gonna bring. It's gonna be a true battle to the end. You think that you should have not handed the win yesterday or no, what? No, not at all, man. I wanted to be here so I can push myself. Well, if you called him out and then beat him at his own game, I guess. Yeah, but at least it's his game now. Jimmy has this dynamic way of interpreting things, which I totally admire. Now I'm the one that's gonna be stepping into the deep water trying to keep up with Jimmy's designs. All right, guys. Servan, you ready? Yeah, all day. Tito, let's give me his own medicine. Your six hour grudge match tattoo starts right now. Say home and win, baby. Servan called out American traditional tattoos. I'm ready for it. You can cut the tension with a knife in here. These guys aren't only battling it out in their tattoos today, they are throwing daggers. Are you ready, bro? Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't do American traditional on my daily basis, but when I start tattooing, I work in a traditional shop, so I can pull out this style. I love American traditional, but I don't do traditional. And then you call me out for traditional. Look, what do you want to prove? Shock and Anchors was one of the first designs that was made back in the day, and I decided something simple and bold. Every line is very critical. Can we get a bucket over here with a sponge? Going super old school. <laughs> I'm doing a traditional American lady head. I just think she looks really pretty. The artwork alone is gonna carry me. That is definitely American traditional. Tito don't like following rules, and there's too many of them for him in traditional. He has no clue what to do, and he's scared. You guys have three hours left. Tito is pissed, man. See, I can talk all the shit I want. If you want to shake my hand and just end it, we can do it. It's like in that same respect, it's like let the machines do the talking. Yeah, totally. This whole thing started with tattooing. You should end it with tattooing, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I got a surprise for you. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of surprise? I'm gonna do another one. Yeah, get out of here. Right now. All right, let's do it. I'm a fast tattooer, so I'm gonna show off what I can do. Traditional all day. Two hours and 15 minutes. Let's do it. Back in the days when you do American traditional, it was one after another one. 
Ah, perfect. When you finish one, you want another one, and you can't afford it, just keep going. I don't see if they're going with another one over there. Leaving yourself a window opportunity for more mistakes. Let's go. That's awesome. Thank you, thank That's you. really awesome. Want another? Hell yeah, man. If you want to double up, man, I'll quadruple up with you. Well, we already won, bro, but <laughs> I'm going to kick his <laughs> ass today. <laughs> My second design is this traditional boxer lady. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bitch. I'm all in. Oh, my god. This guy's a copycat. I can't believe it. I'm doing mine better because I'm doing gelato. <laughs> it's that fancy ice cream. There's only two hours left on the clock. Two hours left. Something is reacting to the canvas of skin. I'm laying in this rich brown that I wanted for the chocolate part of the ice cream. And it's taking it from looking like an ice cream cone to a burnt meatball. I'm definitely going to have to adjust my color palette to match what's going on in the skin. How you doing on time over there? Cutting it close, but I'll be all right. What about yourself? I'm going to make it. I mean, if you want to come over here and help me color in, I ain't going to, I ain't going to say no. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? I do love Jimmy's design, but I'm just nervous because of technical stuff. I'm not too sold on the brown. Yeah. As far as Craig's goes, it's clean, but it's just not solid. Like the cup, you could see through the blue still, but I never taste the pie before it's out of the oven. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn them off. Turn them off. All right, man, that's it. All done. They all have their own little personality. All right, man, you have been snack tooed. Looks good. So, Craig, what's the scoop? A scoop of ice cream. Not just a scoop, three. Man, I definitely didn't think that I was going to come in here and have any kind of cakewalk. It was. And I was like, I, I want you to trip. Just not like fall down, but just, <laughs> just to stumble a little bit. It was really good to be back in here. Instead of Ink Master Grudge Match, it's Ink Master Bromance. <laughs> it's going to be the next season. Yeah. Ink Master Bromance, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Today, you must prove that you understand legibility by tattooing watercolor tattoos. Awesome. Watercolor tattoos are by far the least legible tattoo style I can think of. It can't work together. Tattoos mimic watercolor brush strokes to create vibrant images. And although these tattoos play fast and loose with both color and shape, it's still crucial that you make sure your tattoo is legible. Watercolor tattoos can be a muddy mess. Colors could run into each other and it's gonna be hard to tell what it is. So you have six hours to create a legible watercolor tattoo. And your time begins now. Woo! Do this. So I'm going to have you stand right here. Team Nunez is coming off a pretty bad glass challenge, and they come right into watercolor tattoos. A lot of them are just abstract, and having to create something that shows legibility is a tough challenge. <laughs> Bleeding. Can't look. This is the first time in the competition that I'm finally allowed to do color. So my strategy is to do an absolute color bomb with this tattoo. I like the design. It's going to have like a frosted kind of look to it. It's a good day for Kelly. Oh, that one spot killed. A load of adrenaline running through me right now. Good. Get that adrenaline buzz. <laughs> Kevin gave me the tattoo that I wanted, and I'm so stoked. Coming off of that flash challenge, I need to kill it in this tattoo. I'm going to get whatever strength I have left and just pull it all out and do a killer job. I felt like you had the funnest one. The funnest? Yeah. 
I was like, Kevin, you don't want her? I'm just surprised he didn't take her. Yeah, I mean, I would have. Yeah. Three hours to go, Team Nunez. My first watercolor tattoo. I mean, so at least I could say your first watercolor tattoo was for hundred thousand dollars. I think Kevin's crazy for taking the hardest tattoo of the day. The thing that is gonna win this competition is getting people out of your way. Man, I keep telling these cats like it ain't close enough to taste it or smell it yet. You know what I mean? Relax. It's hard to relax when you stab me with a needle. This butthead finally takes some of my advice. Now we got a design that both of us can agree on. Look, now my canvas is jumping, he's pulling away. I don't know whether to call this guy a pain in the ass or a dick, so I think I'm gonna call him both. It'll get easier as we go, man. What, my arm's gonna get numb? <laughs> is that why? Final hour, Team Nunez, final hour. This canvas asked for a watercolor wild orchid on her sternum. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You want to outline everything black? Mm -hmm. mm hmm I was thinking that the inside, this flower should be like minimal outline. Of all the canvases, even though this is the one that I feel the most comfortable with tattooing because I feel like it complements my style the most, it's the least legible subject matter. Let's do this. Outline on the outside, mm -hmm. inside no outline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be hella, hella risky. I kind of feel like I shot myself in the foot. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Team Nunez, today you had to show legibility by creating a watercolor tattoo that's readable from across the room. Kevin, let's start with you. Kevin, my big problem with this tattoo is legibility. What kind of flower is this supposed to be? It's a wild orchid, which in real life, I feel like most people wouldn't know what kind of flower it is. This one area where you have that nice dark purple and it pushes that petal forward, if you would have at least had more of that, it would have played a lot stronger. I was gonna do the lines on the inside, but she told me she didn't want the lines on the inside. You still want your image to be crystal clear. It's a flower. You may not know what kind of flower, but... Yeah, but regardless of what flower it is, I could still be able to see a petal and see where it goes, where it's folding without that strong outline or with Without any definitive shape, the middle does look like a mess. Eric. Well, Eric, I like your graphic image of the eye. I love the center of the pupil. I love the iris. My biggest problem with this is this blue and the, these negative space white circles in there. They don't look that crisp. As far as capturing the watercolor look, you didn't really pull it off. I don't agree. I like it. I think you did a great job. The color that you did where the magenta color and the blue mix, it looks like it got diluted on the skin. That hits watercolor. I think you nailed this tattoo, man. Thank you. Sketchy. Sketchy, there's no questioning your technical abilities. The outline's crisp, the color is saturated, the blends are very smooth, but overall, it's a weak tattoo. You spilled a bunch of color on it and you called it done. It's boring, man. I I'm feel not like... very familiar with this style of tattooing. Maybe I played it safe. Part of this challenge was using watercolor to create a legible image, whereas this is legible if you didn't put any color in this. You guys are on my team a lot today. As long as you hit the look and legibly see what it is, and it works. What's the point of having it be a watercolor challenge? No definition on what that watercolor painting had to be. Here, you take away this black outline, all you have is three colors random. That is exactly oh. my point. I hit the challenge. I mean, you don't have to like every tattoo I do. Nikki. This is kind of what I expected to see today instead of like what we saw with Sketchy. Your color splats go with each shape of the heart and you actually create a lot of cool textures and depths with your color tones. It's a super smooth technique. The use of the black and the way that you gave it that brush stroke feel, it has a really strong look and it will hold up as to what it is over time. I think you did a great job here. Thank you. <sighs> Kelly. Kelly, I love this tattoo. It looks like light colors of watercolor have been blended. Every color you have blends very smoothly to very dark tones and even black. I think this tattoo is great. The ink really flows, bleeding the colors and really seeing the ink move in the lower portion of the neck within your little highlights. That really shows nicely the color play and the looseness. You really do a stand-up job here. 
guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Chris, this is your team. I like Nikki and Kelly. Nikki and Kelly crushed this challenge. Do you have a final decision here? It's actually tough. I tried making it look as true to the actual paint and moving of watercolors. Kelly's looks like a really smooth tattoo, and Nikki's really looks like a painting. And Nikki's looks like only watercolors were used. Based on the technique and the effort of moving the color around the skin, I'm with Nikki. Being what the challenge is today, Nikki, you killed it. I agree. I'm going with Nikki as well. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Nikki. Well done. It's awesome. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Three of you remain, but there are only two spots in the live finale. Every drop of ink counts. You will have five hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. I almost think maybe it should be like black and gray. I don't think anybody's going in that direction, but. You do you, man. Okay, cool. The win right now would be amazing. Now I gotta try and do a badass watercolor. Gian doesn't do watercolors. I don't know if Ryan does much watercolor either. It's something that I do. I'm gonna try and kill this thing. You making the tigre? Doing a tiger. Nice, dude. Torn between, should I just go black and gray? Nature's blew my mind. He wants to do black and gray for the watercolor tattoo. You could if you want to lose. But that doesn't look very watercolor. You're going to go up against two other people that are doing full color rendition, so it's immediately going to take you out. I can't really give you any great advice other than don't do black and gray. OK. Three hours, Team Peck. I really didn't want to do watercolor. I like to do readable tattoos, and watercolor tattoos are not readable at all. That's pretty cool. Well, that's my goal. I don't do normally like watercolor this style. I don't want to do a crazy colors going outside of the lines. So I'm doing a clean ass line work on this tattoo, making it look like pen and ink. I'm just gonna try to go for real splashes of watercolor on this guy's skin. What's everybody doing? I just saw Ryan's. Ryan's did outline? Yes, but not like yours. Dion's line work is gorgeous, but watercolor tattooing does not rely upon line work. See how much stands up to her. She's good. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Gorgeous. Killed it. Oh, yeah, man. I like it. Awesome. Nate didn't end up doing black and gray, but his tattoo still does not look like watercolor. All I can feel is confidence. I'm not worried about the boys. They can do good out tomorrow. Today, you completed your 10th hour of tattooing. Team Peck, you had to continue in the marathon creating watercolor tattoos. Let's start with Nate. First off, it's a striking image. Stands out, definitely screams it's a tiger from any distance. But as far as the shape of the tiger, the way you've ended this tattoo, it kind of looks like that purple splotch is supposed to be its ear, but then there's not enough at the back of the head to really be the shape of this tiger. That orange ends too soon, because obviously his head goes bigger in the back. I treated it more like a painting, I think. This reads more like a tattoo of a tiger that morphs into watercolor areas. I kind of was going for that morph look a little bit. Either way, it's a killer tattoo from you. Thanks. John. I love it. It's like a cool pen and ink drawing with a hint of watercolor. The black line that you have to represent the water, those pen and ink details you did are beautiful. The shades of blue that you have in the bottom really does look like watercolor. But as my eye moves up, the color choices in the sails, chartreuse and yellow and brown in the sails, it's just strange. I tried to just go in like really muddy, like a broken down pirate ship. The sails look like a sheet somebody used for paintball practice. This tattoo doesn't have an overall finished artistic look. It just looks like the outline was already there, and then you spilled a bunch of paint on it. Ryan. I like the use of the rich black. Really helps give this thing structure and dimension and depth. You were able to achieve a lot of layers and detail just with color shading. I love the way the colors blend from one to the next. The fins are what make this tattoo completely. It's a very loose tattoo, but you really anchor it in with all the black you use and the black shading. It was a wise choice. Thank you. 
it is time to decide who has the best tattoo of the day and secures their spot alongside Kelly. Look at all three of these tattoos. The one that looks the weakest to me is Gian's. Which is a shame because I love his drawing. I know. It just turned into one of those tattoos that looks like a coloring book where the outline was there, yeah. and then the kid just spilled paint all over it. The battle is definitely between Nate and Ryan. Ryan definitely could have upped her color palette a little bit. Would have been a lot more appealing if it was brighter. Nate's choice to put the purple in the stripes and have it blend to the orange gives you that hot and cold plate. I like Ryan's balance. It's got so much heavy blue towards the tail section and the top, but just this little hint of blue coming off the front and off of the back of the spine, it really balances the piece nicely. And I think Ryan gets it today. I vote for Ryan. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Ryan. Congratulations, Ryan. You have earned your spot in the live finale. Thank you so much. Gian, give me watercolor coral reef. <laughs> What's up, man? You know it, man? You must be my canvas. Right. Here it is. I think this is a winner. That's so tight. I'm just doing the watercolor drips on the sides. I'm going to use all my traditional skills, and I'm going to try to make this thing look like a watercolor painting. All right, buddy. You're going for it. I want to prove to America that Puerto Rico has some badass tattoo artists. I really appreciate it, man. You're doing so good, man. Going against these girls, I still think I get a chance. I would love for there to be a female ink master, just not this time around. May the best man win. All right. Gian. Let's see your master canvas, man. See that tattoo? Wait. Take it off. Let's reveal it. Gian, what was your plan here, man? I mean, that was a tough ask from Kelly. What was your plan? That was a what? What was your plan? You know, um, I was really nervous at first, but after thinking about it, I was kind of excited, you know? It just gave me an opportunity to show that I'm very diverse and that I got what it takes to be Ink Master. Yeah. All right, Chris, what are your thoughts here, man? Well, Gian, all season long, you've done consistently beautiful tattooing. You've never been in the bottom, Oliver pointed that out, and you have steadily been able to really push your craft and really show people that you know how to apply solid tattoos that heal really well. Uh, this tattoo is really strong from you, man. The color palette on this is dynamic. It's strong. It has a lot of beautiful detail to it. Uh, the standalone skull, the placement of it, really, you know, it shows itself. It doesn't get lost in the piece. And I think you did an overall beautiful tattoo. Thank you. This challenge of doing a watercolor coral reef was insane. And you were set up to fail, but you, Instead, you turned it around and you did a beautiful tattoo. So, so this is how tattooers watercolor. Tattooers watercolor with outlines, tattooers color with black, and this tattoo has that soft, fluid color blending that really looks like a painting that we would do. Not what people are thinking of a watercolor painting that would be in a museum, but the detail in this tattoo is amazing. The outline is solid. The color saturation is beautiful, man. It's a, it is a top-notch tattoo. Thank you. All right, Gian. Thank you. Today, you must create an aquatic tattoo. From coral and plants to fish, bubbles, sharks, and mermaids, aquatic tattoos are composed of a complex arrangement of many smaller elements. In an aquatic tattoo, placement is everything. Down in the ocean, there's a lot of next to a lot of If it's wrong, you the entire thing up. The only way to get back at Scott is to take the difficult challenges that he sets for me and knock them out of the park. You know what's awesome about your tattoo? What's that? Everything. <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you different. 
I'm not gonna lay down. I'm here to win. I've had a pretty good streak lately, so. Good. What's going on? Scott really screwed sausage. He's got a really tight, intricate design to do in six hours. That could be the downfall of him. Four hours to go. I definitely have winning my sales, winning the flash challenge. I know the judges got their eye on me. I know I picked one of the strongest pieces up there. I couldn't ask for a better canvas, bro. It's just f***ing excellent. I'm not even thinking like it's a competition right now. I'm thinking that I'm doing the best tattoo of my career. Scott, you're up first. Man, I love this tattoo. The placement is just right. What I like the most about how it fits the body is how soft the edges of the design are. It's a delicate, beautiful tattoo, but it's also tough and badass. I love the dark rings that you do through the background. This is not senseless background. This is background that means something, and this is a tattoo that we'd love to see come out of Ink Master. Thank you. Maddie. This is a very big, bold tattoo. My only real complaint is the big area of black above the whale. I wish you would have broken that up with a couple of layers of clouds. But overall, beautiful lines, beautiful shading, beautiful traditional style. This tattoo is very nice, man. Thank you. Sausage, how was it working with your client? It was tough. I really had to use a lot of different techniques to try to get him to trust me. Being a client, I go in with a lot of ideas, and I would want the tattoo artist to be able to talk to me and tell me, hey, that don't look right. But I think this tattoo is awesome. You captured an amazing drawing out of the gate. Way to really be an artist. Details are great. Placement is great. Not just placement on the body, but placement of the smaller elements within the tattoo. Super cool, man. Thank you all, guys. The judges have determined a winner. Maddie, Scott, and Sausage. The three of you have the top tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Scott. This week, we're testing your adaptability. Adaptability is being able to do whatever the next thing that walks through the door is, and you never know what that's going to be. There's no better test of adaptability than a cover-up. Knew it. Called it. Cover-ups are tricky because trying to place the design over top of an existing design, you need to be able to manipulate that picture and put things in the right place so you cannot tell that's a cover-up. Tattoos are forever, and only about 15% of the people who get them regret their decision. Yeah. However, the number one reason for regretting a tattoo is a failed relationship. Your canvases today made that mistake, and they're counting on you to help them fix it. You know, when I saw that sketch, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's the type of effect I want to make. My goal today is definitely to outperform Scott and Maddie. Yeah, bud. Now, when the competition's getting tough, that's when I plan on shining. I'm gonna stomp this tattoo. Awesome, dude. Thanks, man. Halo. As far as the cover-up goes, you had it easy. But this tattoo has such solid saturation over a big area of skin, and whether it's a cover-up or not, this is a great tattoo. You did a great job applying this. This is soft tissue. It can get overworked. It can look beat up. Yours looks healed. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined a winner. Scott and Halo. You have the top two tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Halo. Yeah. Halo, the saturation you used in this tattoo, the way you pulled off the solid fields of blue, very nice. Did a great job. Congratulations, Halo. Now, this real-life epic battle scene depicts what happens when a sperm whale and a giant squid clash head-on. For centuries, fishermen around the world have told legendary tales of a fictitious sea monster similar to the giant squid, the Kraken. According to legend, the Kraken wreaked havoc on tall ships and rum-running vessels and had violent battles with its natural enemies. Today, your canvases all want their own tattoo of the Kraken in battle on their hands. 
hands? There's a long list of problems with hand tattoos. Some hands are gonna swell right away. You got veins, bones. There are totally different factors when it comes to hands. And you must work in teams of two, tattooing both of your canvas's hands at the same time. What? What? The Kraken must be in black and gray, while the enemy can be in any color. You must use contrast to make your design dynamic and the battle crystal clear. And for the first time, you will not be paired with your master or apprentice. You're gonna need some background to create some contrast, you know what I mean? You're not gonna have any contrast if you fill it up like that. Just follow my lead, man. I want you to do exactly what I say. It should be black, you know what I mean? Contrast, contrast, contrast. I know St. Mark can do contrast because he won't shut up. That black background will be the hardest contrast in the whole thing. I just want to go to Vegas. We don't have time to argue. Contrast, keep that in mind. Shut the f up. Shark and tentacle kind of come together right there. So we want this tentacle to dip back this way. Eric's just working along with me. I'm just telling him, hey, do this, do that. I like to work alone. I like to win alone. I'm gonna pull like a mid blue around his head, and then I'll pull back the light blue so I reach you at the same time. I'm gonna take the leadership role, whether he wants me there or not. One hour remains, final hour. What are you doing with the little suction cups? I am just putting a super light wash shading over them. I'm the female front runner in this competition. You think you'll have time to do a little bit of mint behind it? Yeah. I have to monitor Marissa's tattoo to make sure that we can win this. Holy mackerel. That one's gotta hurt. You're gonna do your tentacles last, right? Yep. So okay. I can see your. Yep. Dave is doing the sperm whale. It looks like a shoebox with an eyeball on it. It doesn't even look like a whale to me. I think it's a nice little playful whale. He's gonna make me look like a fool up there. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. That's red, huh? Awesome. We are done with this lady. What are St. Mark and Miami thinking doing two solid black hand tattoos on a soccer mom? That looks terrible. All right, artists, it's time to critique your work. Katie and Marissa, you're up first. I did the Kraken, Marissa did the shark. As far as contrast goes, I think the light highlights in the Kraken against the dark black, very, very nice. The shark is a little more rough. There's not a lot of vibrancy that really makes it stand out. Eric and Chris. A lot of contrast on both sides of the fence and very legible. It's one of the best drawn tattoos we see today. You created a whole underwater scene happening here. Very cool, guys. Miami and St. Mark. You guys are two masters. How was it working together? We really brought the best out in each other. Technically, they're two strong tattoos. You have some very dark areas to contrast with the tentacle section you have up in the foreground. St. Mark, I do like leaving that front tentacle with no detail and just having the small suckers all the way up. Very strong design. Craig and Tyler. Overall, they're strong tattoos. The shark really stands out and looks strong. A lot of contrast. My problem with the Kraken, it's hard to see what's going on. You overshade it so that you lose some of the contrast. Tyler's my apprentice. He did exactly what I thought he'd do. It's just flat. It's boring. Cruzman and Dave. I like these tattoos. They're simple and bold. The thing that's just bugging me is the ending of the whale on the knuckles. The eye is outlined and finished out, but the shading stops higher than that. That's bugging me. My part looks awesome. I could strangle Dave Clark right now. He is 100% taking away the chance of me getting my first skull pick. The judges have decided the winners of today's Flash Challenge are... Eric and Chris. Very clear, strong imagery, mimicking each other's style. Very well technically applied. Thanks, man. Today, you must tattoo the Roman god of the sea, Neptune. It's crazy. Neptune is a merman, tromping through the water with a crazy-ass lightning storm in the back. One little slip of an eye or a lip, and this is not gonna meet the challenge. Neptune is known for his temper and his furious rage. Many images show him blowing over ships, riding huge cresting waves, and causing chaos. God damn it. Neptune was the god of the sea. You have to make this look like he's moving in the water and make the water believable. Dave and Marissa gave me a fantastic canvas. A lot of strategy on choosing what for who and having that skull pick is really important. You know, like go big or go home. This is exactly where I wanted to be in this competition. This is an easy win. Chris. 
Well, Chris, this is definitely one of the most dynamic layouts of the day. As far as the hair goes, it has that very Roman goddish kind of sculpted statuesque outline to it. And his face shape, everything looks the way it's supposed to be. The saturation looks great. It's a tremendous size tattoo for the time you were allotted. This is the type of tattoo I expected to see. Lots of movement, exactly what we're looking for. Thank you, guys. Eric. I think this is a killer tattoo. It's super dynamic, no doubt about who this is. I'm wishing that this trident didn't just vanish at the top. That part of it just makes it look a little unfinished. It's not tough, it's not strong. You didn't put your balls out there. I think I did put my balls out there, that's a big tattoo. But it's big with no purpose. Make it purposeful. It's time to debate a win for the day. I like a lot of elements of Eric's tattoo. Really? I like the drawing, yeah. I like Chris's, it's bulletproof in saturation. And it's the most dynamic, I think. Final decision. Chris. Vote for Eric. I vote for Chris. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Chris. Thank you, guys. You must compete in a marathon designed to put your teamwork, strategy, and skills to the ultimate test. In each round of the marathon, you must tattoo a different creature of land, sea, or sky. And today, for the first round, you must tattoo a creature of the sea, an octopus. What? Six hours? A lot of circles, a lot of lines. Yeah. A lot of elements go into tattooing an octopus. All the tentacles, suction cups. Showing accuracy is gonna be huge on this. You can't leave anything out. But that is not all. Of course not. For this round, you must rely on the strength of your team. Okay, we got that. As a team, you will create one tattoo. What? One artist must line. Oh. One artist must shave. And one artist must tattoo the color. Damn, guys. Octopus in a jar. Who the f would think of that? You know what I mean? That's what we keep doing. We keep thinking outside the box. If you do the shading clean and smooth, if he does the lines clean and smooth, I can get wild. After this, it's accuracy. So, I mean, do we have to make sure that there's eight showing and like. That's the gamble we take. But I mean, like, we're adding things on top of the they could probably beat us with a straight up tattoo. Juan, just promise me that you're not gonna do a gray wash. You trust me a little bit more because I, I know I'm gonna do a good job. I okay. promise you. I what promise I'm seeing it. right now is not black. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm gonna do Don't the give black. me the I'm question. Ju I'm just shading it. Okay. I'm gonna ask questions all the time and no I'm only basing it what I see. I have a lot of strong personalities on my team. Today, I'm being very hands-on. That glare in the eye, line it like a wash. Okay. Jeremy. Jeremy, don't bother him with that right now. He's got to get rocking. This tattoo is a marathon. It's just like running a race. If the first guy's lagging behind, the other two have to run even faster to make up the time difference. Do we need a line on this backside, or? Nope, you're out. Unplug and get out of the way. It's like being in the car with your grandmother and she's doing 35, you're like, speed it the f up, please. Team Steve, you're up first. Who did what here? I did the line work. I did the shading. But Jeremy did color. It is like a breath of fresh air, man. Saturated color and then smoothly fade to that open skin. It has a really soft, really finished look. I do miss a little bit of the shading in the tentacle section. You guys look a little bit unfinished in that department. And the center of this guy, right under the eye, took a pretty heavy beating. When you were outlining, did you get him in the outline or did he get got in the shading? I definitely didn't see any dugouts at all when I did the line work. With these technical hiccups, it makes this choice pretty tough. Next up is Team Anthony. At the top, we see some prime examples of outline wobbles and the color in the top of the tattoo. It's not strong enough and not soft enough. It's simple, but it is exactly what it's supposed to be as far as accuracy goes. You have all eight tentacles represented. It has a very strong look from across the room. All right, next team up is Team DJ. As a standalone tattoo, it's interesting, it's compelling, it's artistic, it's creative, but you're competing against two teams that showed the whole animal on an accuracy challenge. We didn't take accuracy into that, like, Okay, the size of the head versus the tentacles, none of this could fit in the jar. Come on. Dude, it doesn't fit in that 
jar. You can cram an octopus in a jar. You could if you chop it up and puree it. You're trying really hard to be creative. None of them are accurate to an octopus. So the one that fits the challenge the best I is get going it, to but win. I know, but it was. So you don't. It was. It you wasn't an octopus with. portrait day. If it was jar day, I'm with you, bro. I'm, you I'm win. Just, I'm Pickle have, jar day. You get a trilogy. I know they're supposed to have eight legs, but if all the eight legs are wrong, then you can't do that. Well, let's be honest. The, the I mean, fight is between Team on. Anthony and Team Steve. That thing's rad, bro. All right, it is time to pick a winner. Which team did the best tattoo of the day? Team Steve's out. Out of the running. Overwork in the center. I feel like Team Anthony has more accuracy in terms of anatomy. I agree with that statement. Team Anthony. The best tattoo of the day goes to Team Anthony. Congratulations. You are safe from elimination. Today, you must tattoo mermaids. Oh, man. You must use artistry to seamlessly transition from the delicate facial features and hands of a woman to the intricate, scaly tail of a fish. Mermaids have scale work, fins that flow, bodies, they're supposed to be sexy, and you have to do small faces on them. Ugh. This week is artistry. Show us artistry. We got this, guys. Let's go, guys. We got to keep it straight. When we put it on, don't hyperextend. This week, the elimination tattoo is going to be mermaid. Good, sir. Uh, looks like it needs to go more. Hopefully, these guys have their understanding of anatomy. Is that good? Yes. Still in a good spot? Yeah. Hopefully, people understand what the bottom of a fish looks like. Hopefully, they can put them together. I like it right there. I think it fits good. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Deepening up that part, like you said. OK. And then I brought a little bit more flesh tone in. Not a lot. OK. All right. Not enough to uh, make yeah. it weird. Yeah, don't get too crazy crazy. The judges in Clean have been hammering me on going overboard in all of my designs. So I'm just going to reel in my artwork and literally let Clean take the wheel from here on. All I have to do is everything I'm told so that I can get to the damn finale. Turk! Risky move to choose this pose, but you pulled it off really well. I commend you for not doing an archway that she's looking off into with a <laughs> castle behind it, because I know it was on your mind, I'm sure. Yeah. I really like the illustration of the hair. Shape of the body is nice. You keep a very consistent line weight through this, and the color saturation is really nice. Well, you guys said punch it up, man, and I'm listening. 100% my favorite tattoo you've showed us so far. Thank you. Best tattoo on your team. DJ. Beautiful work in the shading of her torso. Beautiful work in the face of the eel. Then you get up to this crown that's lost in a sea of just craziness with black shading and then a black background behind it. The background's not black, it's gray. It's not smooth. Doing this hair in this style on this part was a bad choice. I tattooed this way. It's just messy. How's that messy? There's blends in there that nobody else is gonna do. The problem that I have with the hair is simply this. The outline of the eel goes all the way back to the side of her head and behind her ear. It looks like the eel's wearing fur coat or whatever the f it is, this hair needed to come over the top of the eel completely, and that would have changed the entire look. There's areas of this tattoo that are phenomenal. If you can do that eel to look like that, and you can make that mermaid face that's the size of my goddamn pinky look like that, then just finish it out. Your backgrounds are going to eat you up. That's going to send you home. It's coming one way or the other, Christian, and that's no, the guy. I, I, I get you. That's probably who you should be protecting. I'm not going to give you a background no more. You're getting outlines all day. All right, guys, who had the best tattoo of the day? Well, do you see anybody besides TJ and Turk? It looks finished. It looks clean. It looks saturated. TJ's tail is better than most tails. The face is better than most any face. I need a final decision. My vote's for Turk because I like Turks, but it's also sending a message to go simple. You're right there. I'm going with Turk. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Turk. Nobody knows your strengths and weaknesses better than the artists who competed alongside you all season long. And today, they are calling the shots. Bob, Angel, Jarrell, and Kelly, you'll choose the style and subject that Jimmy must tattoo. Oh. Wow. Is it style and subject? Style and subject. This is crazy. Bob, Jarrell, Kelly, and Jimmy, you'll choose the style and subject that Angel must tattoo. And so on and so forth. All right, Angel, what will Jimmy tattoo? A color realism jellyfish. 
color realism takes so long to do and a color realism jellyfish, I'm not sure it can be done in six hours. Challenge accepted. All right, Jarrell, what's it gonna be? A fine line, black and gray, realistic lionfish. So fine line only. Yep, no shader. A lionfish is covered in stripes, has crazy pectoral fins that are all frilly like seaweed, and also has these spiny spikes on its back. He's Every view of a lionfish is a hard view of a lionfish. Just look at the anatomy of that thing. It's just a camouflage piece of seaweed. Let the fun begin. I'm screwed right now. I have to learn a new technique in tattooing. I've never done any fine line black and gray in my life. Mastering a technique, you know, at the same time as tattooing it is a pain in the ass. You feel confident about this one? I don't know. It's kind of intimidating. It will get a little bit easier soon. Everyone's been underestimating me through this whole competition, and this is my chance to shut everybody the f up. I'm gonna take a style I've never done before and go into this thing with confidence. I gotta kill it. Bob. For a single needle tattoo with no other shader, you do a really clean take on this thing. You captured the look of this fish by the shape of the body. It has a roundness to the body of the shape, and it's because that highlight you left through the stripes and how rich the darkness gets. You totally kill it in this tattoo, man. Thank you. Good job, man. Thank you. It's a rough one you guys threw at me. Jimmy. At the top of the jellyfish, you capture the look of what's going on. But then you come down, it's hard to follow your ribbons and your twist and your turns. I wanted to have enough color play in there to show, you know, movement. You could have put a little bit more darker shades on some of the tentacles so you could follow where it's going. But a lot of things you hit here really strong. And I also think you hit a color tattoo like we haven't seen you do so far in this competition. Thank you. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Bob got called out on something that most people would really blunder, and he killed it. And everything in that tattoo is cohesive and finished and applied properly. And for that reason, I'm going to go with Bob. And my vote is also Bob. Congrats. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Wow. And you were worried. Oh, I was. Yeah. Congratulations, Bob. You have earned the first spot in the finale. Holy <laughs> shit, look at you, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm really happy right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Artists, you have six hours to create a new school food tattoo. And your time begins now. Cool, let's do this. Come around this way. Let me just make sure the size is okay, all right? If there's one tattoo style that plays with color theory the most, it's new school. Let me see that big sexy bicep you've got. Know, right? We're looking for exaggerated proportions, dynamic dimensions, do something wild, make it pop. Nice, it fits in there great. Sometimes it looks like I know what I'm doing. The other thing about this challenge is doing the food. It needs to be recognizable. If you do a sandwich and it doesn't look like a sandwich, you didn't do a good job. I'm gonna start over here, okay? Yep. Off we go on this cute little munchkin. I can't wait. For the love of God. Everybody's already started tattooing. I can't sit here for six hours and draw and redraw this. Like, I've got to get started. All right, ladies. All right. This is what we get for ya. Oh my Got God. A little jam jar That's in there. That's so cute. I know that I'm not gonna hit new school, but I don't know how to do it any better, so I better slay color theory. Five hours left, guys. Five hours remain. I gotta look at this shit with a magnifying glass. Everything's gotta be perfect, you know? The Midwest strategy is the West. That's been their strategy from the very beginning. But the last time the Midwest had the skull pick, I got tattoo of the day. So maybe they should just keep coming at me. This is my second time here. Mm. And it's like my long lost abusive lover. <laughs> I just keep coming back. 
The first time I came to this competition, I knew that no matter what happened, the people in my life would be proud of me. Now I have people depending on me. I'm a shop owner. If I don't bring home the title, I'm gonna have some explaining to do. It's pretty cool, dude. I don't know why. Three hours to go. You have three hours to go. Dude, I love this thing. I'm super excited. I have been waiting for my chance to draw something and show that I'm an artist here. Why are you tattooing it right there, Bob? Well, you know, sometimes people lie to you, Frank. Kind of what it feels like. <laughs> Once we got it off the ribs, that was a huge win in my boat. I got to do a couple little bits here and there. Midwest thought they had me, but it's a curse of the golden skull. I have a big family, and we do like big Sunday dinners. So there's always like so much food. Growing up, my grandma never liked tattoos. She always told me that they weren't for ladies. And I actually gave her her first tattoo. From then on, she's just like gung-ho. She will just stop everyone in her path and just be like, my granddaughter tattoos. Like, you should come see her. We've come a long way. I think if I had to get a food tattoo, I would get some sort of pasta. My tattoo was the chicken and waffles, but I've changed it to waffles and ice cream. At least I've got some color in there to make it pop. You could use some sort of globe, just like a lighter pink. No matter what, this waffle is going to look really flat because it's almost the same color as her tan. And that sucks, dude. I didn't just leave my family and leave my shop to come here and get eliminated because I got given a waffle. My team's definitely in hot water here. The only way that I can help is if I make sure I focus on this tattoo and get tattoo of the day. It's absolutely new school traditional. You might start a new fad. Jesus Christ, Jason. Just trying to roll for your feathers. Get you off the game. This crawfish looks like he's about to get cooked alive. And I'm cool with that because the South and the West, they're about to get cooked alive. And I'm about to paint a portrait of their destiny. Yeah, I'm gonna get tattoo of the day on this shit. One hour left, guys. Final hour remaining. I've been tattooing going on some years now. It's definitely something that I, you know, I wish I would have started a long time ago. It's hard to imagine myself doing something different now. You know, I got lucky and I got a pardon, but I feel like I'm stuck in a box. Nobody with ADD likes being in a box. I promised that I was going to just try to stick to the challenge. It's torture. First tattoo after getting a pardon, if I do a bad job and I go home, it's like crap. That's pressure. You drew that? Yeah. You're a cartoonist, aren't you? Yeah, I used to do graffiti. There's no way I would have had these lines as crispy as this on the ribs. I was born in Venezuela. So like I came here when I was four months old and I was younger, I got in trouble for doing graffiti. Oh shit. And at the time I was in the middle of the process of getting my residency. So I thought I was gonna get deported kind of like scared the shit out of me. So I stopped doing art for 10 years, but I realized art was my number one love, so that's when I went back and got my art degree. Grades are in there good. I gotta make sure I do a dope ass tattoo. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. It's like a fork in it. We're done. <laughs> I absolutely love it. That looks great. That's just new school as f I don't know what Jason's talking about. <laughs> I think he struggled the most. You can tell that they've never drawn anything cartoony. Oh. Jess says it's just applied bad, and it's kind of drawn bad. Kay's is not new school. It basically looks like a K tattoo that she threw two extra colors in. I'm super happy with how bright it is and how clean it yeah, is. Yeah, it's like half in the color. They're so far off from new school. OK, artists, you have six hours to tattoo a Japanese crane. And your time starts now. Let's do it. It's always like stress, stress, stress while I'm drawing, and then as soon as it's time to tattoo, I get really excited. Cranes have big, long wings that can propel this big, heavy bird, long beaks, long necks, and strong talons on long, skinny legs. Yeah, I like where it looks right now. Composition here is going to be tough because people ask for suns, they ask for scenery, but less is so much more in Japanese tattooing. I'm good with it. 
Okay. I think we're gonna see certain people take off and certain people never get off the ground. Ready? Yep, let's do this. Party! I feel like a lot of people are really confused right now, like we have to do Japanese tattoos. They didn't really specify if they wanted it traditional or not, because yeah. the tattoos are a little bit different than the art. They only said Japanese crane, and the only reason that they said it's Japanese is to determine what type of crane that we were gonna be tattooing. It doesn't make it a Japanese tattoo. I feel like I really targeted the people that I wanted to target. I could definitely kill two cranes with one stone here. Yeah, it's the last five and I'm a major competitor in this house. Like, nobody's been able to, like, really stump me up yet, you know? Oh, shit. Is that why they gave this to you? Is this the most painful spot? Ah, uh, they gave it to me because it's a painful spot, and you asked for a lot of things. I did, really? I love tattooing so much. It's one of those things where I can just shut out the world. As a child, I used to just go to my room, shut everybody out, and I would just draw for hours. It was my outlet for a lot of emotions and pain that I had to deal with. <sighs> Bob definitely screwed me over hard, but I'm not gonna let your shot land at all, buddy. As far as what I know how to do in tattooing, Japanese is the one that's still cloudy for me. I can't afford to show anybody in the room that I don't know what I'm doing. I have to act like I'm cool. How does it feel to be the last girl standing? I grew up fighting constantly, fighting boys bigger than me. My dad owns a martial arts school, and I spent pretty much every day of my childhood there. When I was four years old, I was breaking boards with my hands. You have to punch all the way through to succeed. This is no different. I have to trust that what I'm doing is going to carry me through no matter what. I have to be fearless. Now I'm not afraid of anything because I'm like, I've been outmatched my entire life, you know what I mean? That's where you get your grit from, you know? Yeah. Three more hours. Three more hours, guys. A lot of people in this competition would try to avoid the chest. It is a pretty difficult area to tattoo just based on your canvas breathing. It can make it feel like you're tattooing on a rocking ship. You feeling all right? Yeah, it looks really awesome. Your lines look really good. Thanks. There's no room for error, so I'm moving like the lasses. Do you think the lines are too thin? I don't think they're too thin. I've busted my ass to get to the point that I'm at in this competition. I've never been parted. Nobody handed me shit. I want Tattoo of the Day so that me and the Midwest have the power to vote someone from the West down to the bottom. We gotta send one of these home. One hour. One hour remaining. I got a lot to do. It's hard to see the forest for the trees when I'm this deep in the weeds. I'm gonna do some just like light black and gray wash to build out those clouds a little bit, and then we'll put the yellow in the beaks, a little bit of color in the eye. 50 minutes to do all of that. More than enough, right? Yeah! <laughs> Swimming in extra time. Uh... There's a feeling of fear and doubt that comes with being targeted. I hope I didn't up any bird rules that I don't know about. The whole point behind Bob's skull pick today was to keep me busy, and he did. If I go to the bottom, then Bob did his job. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up, machine's down. No more ink. All right. Wow. That's amazing. Stressful day. Yeah, from here, it's absolutely awesome. I was worried we weren't going to finish, but I'm glad we did. I feel like I did two cranes today, because I did two cranes today. Yeah. That, like, that means that each one of my cranes, I get half as much time to do and half as much time to draw. Right. I don't know how it's going to all stack out. Out of everybody in the room, I felt like I went pretty simplistic with my illustration because of, like my brain was like, don't over-illustrate it. Is that not all right for traditional Japanese? Should I just do this? I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Welcome. 15 artists remain. Four in the West, five in the Midwest, three in the South, 
and three in the east. Way to rub it in. Only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. That's what we're here for. Today, there will be no flash challenge. Oh, no. We are going straight into the next elimination tattoo. Oh, my god. PTSD. <laughs> Straight into the mouth of madness. This week, you are being tested on consistency. Oh, man. Consistency in tattooing is making sure that throughout your whole tattoo, nothing is irregular. Nobody wants a wonky tattoo. Consistency is key. And there is no better test of consistency than collaborating with other artists to create oh, a series of tattoos. A series? Each artist on your team must create one tattoo. And every member of your team must tattoo the same canvas at the same time. Oh, my God. Oh, what? <laughs> All of us? All four at once? That is just insane. We're going to be in each other's space. I'm working here, and I have somebody working next to me, stretching, moving the skin. It's just a crazy environment. I mean, maybe you know that's what? a good thing, because we only have three. It's better for us, yeah. uh, Three is a lot easier than doing five. Someone's getting five tattoos today. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Good luck, Midwest. Five tattoos at the same time. Buckle up. Just as your four regions make up the United States, the ancient Greeks believed that there are four elements that make up all matter. Okay. Earth, wind, water, and fire. You can tattoo any style, but each of your tattoos must consistently incorporate your team's element. So that's the four skulls. On the bottom of each skull is an element. The skull you draw will determine the element your entire team must tattoo. Hopefully we get water. Tattooing wind? Yeah, like how? You've been randomly assigned a picking order. West, you're up first. No pressure, right? Whew, I just hope we get a good element. Fire or water? Fire. Yeah. Fire, all right. East. Pick a good one. You're next. Earth. South. Which one? Money Mike, you got one job, and it's not to pick wind. You got 50 50 chance. Bitch. Wind. Damn. And finally, Midwest, you get the last skull. Water. The Midwest is landlocked. We don't do a lot of water tattoos. We don't see a lot of water in our daily lives. I can't even swim. Five people on a team don't have to tattoo the same style, but be sure that something about your design or the way you tattoo it or your color palette goes together. Five of a Your human canvases have been randomly assigned and you will have six hours to tattoo. Fail to get in your element, and not only will your entire team be at risk, but you just might be packing your machines. Good luck. All right. The word they have to remember is consistency, because that's what we're testing. I think we should do four different fire holders, like a lantern, a, a torch, candle, a, torch, a candle. Right. Well, that's that's, pretty, that's good. pretty good. Yeah, I like that. If everybody does their own thing, then that's not consistent. It'll definitely be uniform if they all had tornadoes in them. We can do three different phases of it, like comic strip type. Yeah, like comic strip, maybe like there's three boxes. Yeah, I'm cool with the comic strip idea. I like, I like it being boxed in like that. We are looking for consistency throughout the team, not just in the element, but also in application. OK, what if we did things that were seashell themed, like if we did a seashell, starfish, coral? I feel like a seashell is like something that we could all nail in our own style so nothing falls short. Right. Because I feel like if we were to pick the same style, like if we're all doing color, like I'm going to fall short compared to you two. OK, yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. If one person falls short, they're going to bring the whole team down. When I think of Earth, I think of things going back to the Earth, like dead things or flowers growing Live out Live things, the juxtaposition. I'm into that. Believe it or not, I'm a pretty versatile artist. And as far as adapting to my team, I can do that. Playing to one style could be more consistent. It looks like one team did it. Yeah. What if we each did like a black work skeleton with different elements growing out of it? Yeah, that'd make a cool tattoo. Kay is primarily a black work artist. So if we can all work together with her strength, we'll be able to pull this challenge off. You're putting color in yours, right? No. So I'm going to have to do black and gray is what you're saying? No, you should absolutely. Yeah, you should do full color. There's no reason you shouldn't do color. But then three are doing black and gray, and only one is doing color? That mm -hmm. wouldn't make sense. That would look weird. Do your thing, Bob. Blast that bitch with color. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the same style. We all contain the element. It's not going to look cohesive with the group. There's one that stands out. 
I'm stubborn and Hiram's stubborn, so it's hard to get the idea that we both agree on. We can't turn in one color tattoo and three black and gray tattoos. That is not consistency. That's three and one. That's not four. I don't think it has to be extremely the I mean, same. Like, but that's the definition of consistency. Maybe I should do it without this box. You can take out the box. So now just do it. The size of the cap, just so that part fits in there. Yeah. And, and then blend, so blend out softly, yeah. I like the idea better. Think you should maybe tell Money Mike to take the box out then? Well, I don't have a box on mine, so I think he's having a box. If one of them having a box is going to be fine. All right. We're all doing a color in the flame. All of our containers are going to be black and gray. And the light, the fire is going to be colored. I know you don't like it, but it's going to be a bit more cohesive. Yes. And that's I the name of I the challenge. I don't think that looks better with that color. But it will if all four of them have yes. it. Artists. You have six hours to show consistency by tattooing the elements. And your time starts now. Yeah. OK. All right, go ahead and hop up. Let's get some stencils on. Today can be really tricky because first off, God bless the canvases, either three, four, or five tattooers will be tattooing them at the same time. You're going to try your hardest to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Just let it happen. These tattoos have to be cohesive. We're looking for these tattoos to almost look like one person did them all. That makes this extremely difficult for anybody who's a weak link. You doing the box around yours? No, took it out. So I don't know if you want to take it out or leave it on. Mm, I designed mine for the box. So then keep the box in. I don't think it makes a difference because we all have the same elements. Man, what the f Jordy and Jason scrapped the whole square idea and just enlarged the piece. But for me to change designs now may be a setback for me. So I'm sticking to the original plan. Hopefully that don't sink me. Should I bring this angle in? Let's see. No, because if you get down, it's straight. All right, we're clear. Yeah. Let's do it. Here we go. treating you so far, what's difficult about it? Positioning, light. I don't like 90 degrees to how I would like to be tattooing. Oh, shit. Sorry. Let me know if I need to get out of your way at all. This is going very poorly. The inside of my starfish has a lot of circles. It's very difficult to cleanly tattoo. I, I'm not going to be able to do these small lines with someone right next to me. I'm going to finish these lines up here and then cycle out. We're not little people, and we're inside of this four-foot area. But Kelly's the only one that's in between two people. I mean, what if Jarrell flexes? OK, wait, hey, hold on. Let me finish these two lines, and I'll jump up, OK? I hate collaboration tattoos. I can't get my own space. It's like, Kelly, just pull it together. The black and gray looks sick. Good boy, Bob. No blowouts? No. Holding up my name, you know. Blow out Bob over here. Gotta keep him on tight watch. Today, all eyes are on me. They saw a weakness in me last week. This is the best drawing of the day, man. But I lost count of blowouts on this thing, like 40-something. I cannot have any blowouts. I have to show them the last week was a fluke. That shit doesn't happen. Three hours to go, teams. Three hours to go. You're about to dot? I only asked because I heard you like run your machine way down. Yeah, I've never done this before, so. The way I do it is the slowest that I can run it without it getting snagged in the skin. You should be able to get like a line of dots. Mika and Jimmy, as we get closer, we're only getting stronger. It's only up from here. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> this is so much fun. Why haven't I been doing this? <laughs> we're consistently consistent, Queen. You know, I've seen everybody else's. Everybody else did the same thing and threw the element in it. Ours is the only one that actually connects. We're doing three different versions of the tornado. Money Mike's is going to be from a distance. My tattoo is going to be right before the impact. Jason is going to be the impact tearing up the house. Of all the groups, ours has the most consistency with a story. They don't like this piece. I don't know what to tell them. In Louisiana, man, we get hurricanes. We don't get tornadoes. Never seen one, never tattooed one. So it's all around new experience for me. Mine is simple, yet effective. Yep. We just trying to get to it, make sure we get this safety, make sure nobody in Team South gets eliminated. Yours 
have a similar feel, only like, you know, his is in color. Yeah, and then it's like same with them, but it's like, you know. Yeah. All of the other team's approach to this looks way more consistent than ours. Their tattoos actually look like they're in a series. Ours, not so much. It looks like we have five different tattoos by five different people with five different ideas. It's kind of fun tattooing this close because I get to see how you guys tattoo. I know, right? Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Keep it solid. It's solid, dude. <laughs> Looks killer. Fishing for a win today. This feeling good? Yeah. We kept everything the same size. You think those 25 circles Kelly did are circles? Yeah. Oh, no. Definitely think the team of five is about to come it's team of four. four. Artists, you have six hours to create a new school tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's go. Here we go. Well, you go sit down while I finish designing. All right. New school tattooing calls for big, bright, bold, solid color with big, heavy black outlines to really push things forward. This is like one of the hardest things I had to draw. I believe it. But I think this is probably the one I'm most excited for. A lot of new school designs are known to be warped, and you have this very cartoonish, but very well colored, very well rendered design that's like a graphic artist dream. So cute. <laughs> you ready to start? Yep. Here we go. Stop holding your breath when you pull that line. As you pull that line, exhale. OK. This is the challenge that I have been most fearful of this whole time. It's just the exact opposite of what I actually do. Don't treat this like a black and gray tattoo. Everything that you would make a true, true black is only where you're going to put black. You're familiar with doing realism. So think about like where you would put a wash, use a color, OK? Yeah, thank you. Make sense? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I love him. He's like the best coach ever. If I could put him in my pocket, and take him home and have him like tell me how to tattoo all the time, I would. Her's the cutest voodoo doll ever. Poor Fawn. I knew he was gonna have a hard time with this one. He doesn't draw, like, at all. I just wanted to make sure he's sitting on the cowboy. Like, it really looks like it, basically. I'm a photorealism guy. I use reference photos for all my tattoos. If you were taking a photo and there was a camera here mm -hmm. and the cowboy reared up like That's what that. I was trying to do. There are no reference photos of a horse riding cowboys on the internet. I just want to make sure I finish this tattoo. Yeah. Five hours, guys. Five hours left. I can't stop smiling when I see this tattoo. <laughs> Confidence builder. I feel very in my comfort zone right now, not only because it's a style that I'm comfortable with, but I'm very comfortable with the design. It was so much fun. <laughs> I chose it because my husband would love it. This tattoo has a lot of like aspects of it that remind me of my husband. He's inspirational to me, so I'm gonna use his energy in this tattoo. Apparently I missed the big log. Four hours left, guys. Four more hours. All right, so I finally got it drawn. How you like that? Yeah, that could work. There's definitely going to be more detail than this, though. For sure. For OK. Sure. Woo! Now it's time to get started. In order to finish this, I got a tattoo faster than I ever have before. Damn, grease lightning. So you're one of those people that responds well to pressure, then. I try not to lose focus, because when I did lose focus, I did bad on a tattoo, so I learned my lesson on that one. I've given up time with my daughter, and today is not going to be the day I give up. Pause, don't know. It's a possibility. I knew I wasn't going to be getting set up with the easiest ass, but it looked like that little meeting we had might have worked, because Fawn is definitely in trouble with this one. Are you going to put anything, like, any background? I'm finishing what's there first, and then I'm going to kind of, like, reassess. If you don't get to do any background, I would take a, a big, chunky liner and do a green outline, just because this value-wise is so close to his skin tone. Cam has somehow found a way to at once use every single color and still have his tattoo look pale as hell. I'm impressed, but also pissed. Make the shirt darker. 
because like if you stand back from it, you can't quite tell that it's a shirt. I can't go that much darker, man. Yeah, you can. Why is he trying to hurt me, I wonder? Two hours to go, guys. Two more hours. How's everyone else doing? Juan is, I think, going to be their biggest trouble. I don't know if he's going to finish today. I think he just overthought it. Oh, shit. I have a plan for my tattoos, but I don't have a plan for this social game that some of the people in this house are playing. Starting up a friendship that could be misconstrued. I feel like I got myself into something that I'm going to have a hard time getting out of. I'm very uh, competitive when it comes to new school. Then compete against yourself, girl. Be you. Have fun with this tattoo. You did so great with this drawing. Don't stop there. OK. Dude, talk about motivational speeches. Holy shit. No, I want you to have the most fun that you possibly can with this, OK? And this is going to be an amazing tattoo. That is your final hour, guys. One more hour. My dad tattoos, so that's how I got into it. My favorite is black and gray realism. And that's what my dad does. The older I got, like, it was weird. It was like in my blood, like, that's what I wanted to do was black oh, yeah. and gray. The fact that my dad tattooed, it worked out really good for me, but also put me in like a box. Like, people just assumed that I either had to be great or I wasn't going to be anything at all. I wanted to make sure I made my family proud because we're like tattoo family. Yeah. So it's like that pressure tries to get to you sometimes. I can't like let them down, you know? That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Woo! Oh yeah, man, it's real nice. There you go, come check it out. That's dope. Well, I guess. <laughs> That's so cool. Sick. Appreciate it. Thank you, bro. You guys crushed it. <laughs> guys, I'm not, I, might, I might not go to the bottom. I don't think no, so. No, 100% I really don't. not. I'm shocked. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I'm gonna say this, I don't think any one of my girls or any one of my team are going down. Fingers crossed. Artists, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. You have six hours to tattoo an American traditional fairy, and your time starts now. All right, here we go, brother. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Go big or go home, right? Yep. Final round of the marathon, east and the south, every man for himself, they have to tattoo American traditional fairies. You good? I think I'm ready. Basically, we're looking at pinups. And traditionally in this competition, pinups are hard. The saving grace on that is that fairies are a mythological creature, so if you do a more standard looking pinup with wings, we're gonna get you on proportion and anatomy. But if you go a little wild with it, it's up for debate. I would wear this. I've never seen anything like it. The Midwest definitely threw me a bone here. This is what I do at home every day. So I need to make sure I kill it. Simple, clean, doing what I do best, but also giving myself enough time to work with my team. Have you always been into some form of art? I painted for about a decade. And you know, I've always loved tattoos. I've collected tattoos since I was a teenager. I had a lot of issues being comfortable in my body. And for me, like tattooing was just like, well, let me just like throw beautiful things all over myself. Coming off the past couple days, working with my teammates, I feel really positive for the first time. And I think that I can use that to my advantage and do a great tattoo. Which parts are you having trouble with the most? Whipping that out? Mm -hmm. Make sure your black is packed solid as We have our own American traditional fairy on our team, and his name is Jimmy Snaz. How are you doing? He's sprinkling his knowledge on us, and we'll be fine. Think she's a bad bit? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make you proud. I'm on your team. I can't just do your style and shit. <laughs> Here he is. Just like when you have a beautiful sunny day, and then just out of nowhere, a storm comes. How'd you have any friends in school? I didn't have any friends in school. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. All right. Three hours to go, people. Three more hours of tattooing. I'm kind of pissed off about the last challenge. I felt like that our tattoo was the most creative. So with this design, it's basically like a big you. 
He did get away with not having to draw hands or feet. Yeah, he got away with it for sure. I'm doing a four titty cock horse fairy. The bottom's gonna be a horse, the middle's gonna be a woman, and the top's gonna be a rooster. I'm putting an extra set of breasts on this tattoo because it's all the anatomical issues with Jimmy's, so I figure I'm just gonna double up the challenge and make sure that I hit it better than he did. Like, I was having issues with her hair, but then I wanted to make her look a little more Hispanic. She's beautiful. My body's going this way, and, and then suddenly the legs turn us weird, you know? Take a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely on that. Just trying to hit the channel. That's all. No more, no less. This is probably one of the biggest opportunities in my career that I've had. I'm tattooing for my life in this competition. To have all that weighing on my mind right now, this feels like a, a vice grip is on my head. Mike's drawing. It's up. Yeah? It's like a pinup in a blender. <laughs> like... Final hour, guys. Final hour tattooing. It's always the end that hurts the worst. I know. My canvas of skin is starting to welt up. You got like little top layers of skin just kind of peeling off. If you're from the South, welt would be when your mama busts your ass with a hickory. This is becoming a nightmare for me. How you doing, buddy? You got some pretty sensitive skin, man. I have too much to lose. My name is on the line. My family, I'll be damned if I'm going to go home on this tattoo. Is up. No more ink. Your line work is amazing. Just watching you draw those lines so steady and bold. Love Thank it. you. Oh man, I love it. Dude, you're a rock. <laughs> I tried. I appreciate you being a sport. Let me do something crazy like this. Very unique. <laughs> do you think anyone on my team's in the bottom? I mean, I'd say K, just because I don't think it's American traditional. It's definitely more illustrative. If the challenge is American traditional, and everybody's looks American traditional, but one, right. Mark, Sebastian, you guys have six hours to complete a Japanese tattoo. You ready? I'm ready, bro. Are you ready? Hell yeah. Let's tattoo! Oh, yeah. Mark called out Japanese. That in itself is a huge asking if you don't do Japanese on a daily basis. You do your part, keep still. I'll do my part and bless you with the dope tattoo. Awesome. Japanese has a lot of rules. If you're not following those rules, your tattoo probably isn't going to be Japanese. I picked a pretty classic Japanese subject, the peony flower. And in the bulb of the peony flower, I placed a skull. The trickiest part is definitely going to be the outline. I have to make it bold. I have to make it solid. I have to make the points sharp. When I came here, before I showed up and realized how dope I wasn't, I just put my head down and just started tattooing my ass off. I just want to be better, period. Yeah. I was a professional fighter as well as a tattooer, and those are two very difficult careers to intermingle. What made me decide to focus strictly on tattooing is I was fighting to feed my ego. I'm tattooing to feed my family and to grow as an artist. Thigh ripper. Wanted to get a good fit, a good shape. I've seen a lot of tigers in Japanese design, so I'm going to do a tiger, but instead of attempting to do it the Japanese way, I'm going to do my black and gray realism. And I want to do some color realistic Japanese flowers, and I'm not going to try to go the basic route and do cherry blossoms. I'm doing a tsubaki, a Japanese flower, which means love. I don't do Japanese, but I mean, confidence-wise, I'm technically sound as a tattoo artist. What do you think got you to the finale? Consistency. The constant level of quality is like, OK, you weren't in the top, but I wasn't in the bottom. Keep your head down, get to the finale, then go there and show off. I set my standards pretty high, and I'm going to keep reaching. I want to show people that I can step outside of that box. Wow, you are really kicking ass on this. Oh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of being sure. Better be done outlining. You only got four hours left on these tattoos. 
I mean, when you see the pace, I'm going, look how far he is. Yeah. I was planning to do this whole tattoo in one line weight, but one of the lines is getting away from me. The only way to correct it is by calligraphying this line, which means I'm gonna have to calligraphy every single line in the tattoo now. I've got this little voice in my head screaming at me, you're running out of time. All right, Katie, Aaron, you guys have six hours to get fruity. Yeah. And your time starts now. Woo! This is where the party begins. Mm -hmm. Put the stencil on you. Careful, Katie. Shut up, Aaron. Is that backwards? Do your tattoo. I'm like, doing what it. What are you doing? Whoop Katie's ass. Zick. This is his tactic. He tries to distract me while I'm tattooing, and I can't let him do it. Fruit tattoos can be pretty fun. I mean, we got grapes, we got bananas, we got kiwis, we got limes, we got watermelon. There's so many different colors, there's so many different textures. The door's wide open. Hey, Katie, on a scale of like one to badass, where's your tattoo gonna be? The most badass, duh. I have no intentions of tripping Aaron up with this tattoo. Fair and square, bring it on. Your line work is crispy, girl. That means a lot, thank you very yeah. much. I wanna show off bold, consistent line work, smooth color gradients, lots of heavy black, and then also packed in color. We're broskies and you can be honest with me. How did you get so weird and eccentric? I just decided one day I was tired of trying to fit in with everybody else. Everything between these two ears is chaos. So let's like make this banana as insane as I can possibly make it, but still look like a banana. I wanted a banana tattoo that's gonna punch you in the face. The old banana punch in the face trick. That's it. I've got sections of pop art full color that are super bright. I've got sections of crazy heavy blacks, and I put it all together and make this big banana sandwich, and it looks awesome. Like, I'm so stoked on this tattoo. You gonna try to push any of this contrast that's down here up? No, because you're gonna lose what it is. But I'm pretty confident that once I get all the color in there, the heavy contrast makes sense. I can't add more black to the top. It's gonna eradicate all these fine nuances and that shape is gonna be gone. I think DJ doesn't know what he's talking about, but the fact remains, he's gotten in my head. It's a tough one. Looks like you guys are reading these clocks in Japanese. Pick it up, two hours left. No pressure, right? I still have more than half of this tattoo to go. See how much faster I color the line? Yeah. My battle right now is to just finish the tattoo. That outline took Mark four hours, so he only has two hours to color that giant tattoo in. What is going on with Sebastian's tattoo? Tigers aren't Japanese. Where's the flow? I'm gonna look at that thing hard as shit. Yeah. Search for Japanese in that little <laughs> Tick tock of the clock. Five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. I love it. It's a Japanese tattoo, plain and simple. Definitely think this got what it takes to take out Mr. Matthews over there. I love it. I got my gift back. Dude, in all honesty, I didn't know what your flower was when I first glanced at it. I bet you I'm still closer to Japanese on the map than you are, bro. It looks good, but it's still elementary. You still haven't yet utilized being an adult, but all right. Here we go. I told you seven years ago I don't argue with bullshit. Everyone's tattooing is a reflection of who they are. When I'm creating a new school tattoo, some of the stuff that just happens is madness. Older lines, more exaggerated perspectives, a different color palette. You can do anything. The subject matter that people are asking for, it's a little more creative. We get a lot more freedom within that design. It just makes for a more interesting tattoo. 
Room School is based on like your vision of something that already exists. So you can really get inspired by anything. Imagination is one of the most important things as a new school artist because those images don't exist. As long as you challenge yourself and push yourself, there's really no telling how good you can get. The way I got into new school was completely by accident. When I first started tattooing, I just thought it was just going to be a way to draw, have fun, and pay the bills. I can't explain why I gravitated towards new school. It just seemed like that is the way that it came out of me. I saw how people were doing the new school style. I guess like that sort of planted a seed in my head, and then it germinated into whatever it is that I'm doing right now. I was 17, still in high school. I used to just draw on myself constantly with gel pens. And then one of my friends got a tattoo, and I was just obsessed with it. So I started doing tattoo parties. I had release forms, so whenever I tattooed kids in my high school, their parents would come and sign off on it. And then it just kind of went from there. I kind of fell into new school, not by trying, over a span of time, just developed into that. A new school tattoos basically evolved from the graffiti style of the 80s, lots of bold lines, popped color, exaggerated perspectives, and I think a lot of people took aspects from that and then brought it into tattooing, and it just became a whole life entity on its own. To me, new school goes very far back. It just didn't quite have that title. When you think about tattoos from 70s or 80s of Taz, Taz is 100% a cartoon character, and they were everywhere. It was always tattooed in the more traditional style, but the idea of tattooing these old cartoons like Bugs Bunny and Porky Pig and Taz, those are cartoons. And New School used to be categorized way more as a cartoony style. I feel like New School started differently for everybody. But for me, growing up in Massachusetts, there was a guy named Tony Ciavara. Once I saw his work, I loved it. There's bold lines, powerful imagery, super solid color, but with some backlighting on it. You know, there was like these elements of realistic lighting to a flat design. And I just thought it had a little more to it. So I was a little more drawn to that. A new school tattoo has nice, clean, sculpted lines with very bold colors, and everything is completely filled. It can create atmosphere and distance just through line work. It kind of creates the illusion of foreground, middle ground, background. The most recognizable symbols as far as new school tattooing goes is probably really warped perspectives where, you know, instead of getting just a car on the side, it's like this and then down and then the characters reaching over. Even something as simple as a skull, like instead of doing it completely straight on the jawbone, might be completely flipped, like more corpse, brighty Tim Burton kind of stuff. So I just tattooed a saber-toothed skull, and one of the giant teeth just kind of twisted up and turned into a branch at the bottom, and there's a strawberry down there. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but you realize that you are crazy, but people trust you enough to just let you do it. When it comes to color theory, I think a lot of artists need to realize that it is your own voice, and you really need to speak with it. It's a way of putting yourself into the tattoo, and you really have to try to sell that aspect if you're ever going to grow and evolve as an artist. I mix my own colors because I think every client is different, and they deserve a little bit extra. When it comes to a color that would look good on my skin, it may not look the same on your skin. And also, sometimes the color you want doesn't exist. Mixing your own colors just makes sense. I think these cool tattoos have a lot of the bright colors to grab your eye. You want people to look at what you've done, and very bright colors will absolutely do that for you. A lot of my warms are very true. My reds are usually pretty intense. I dress pretty much the way I tattoo. I wear drab clothes, mostly black and gray and everything, with a red hat. And all my tattoos have bright reds usually and like muted everything else. It doesn't even happen intentionally. It's just you can see a lot of myself in my palette. Working on skin is one of the most exciting challenges I think I've ever faced as an artist. Is every canvas different? There's no consistency in skin tone, but it's also the texture and everything. Everyone's body shape is different. Everyone has had experiences in their lives that have literally physically shaped who they are. It's just such a gamble every time you tattoo. I enjoy the challenge of it, but it's also so infuriating when you can't do the best tattoo possible because of your media. The biggest misconception of new school tattooing is that it is easy, but every tattoo is easy if you don't try hard enough. 
aside from maybe with the exception of hyper-realism, it's one of the most pain in the ass styles of tattooing to do because a lot of people expect you just to line something once, pound your black and pound your color and then be done with it. But when it comes to new school, you can take aspects from realism in terms of selling the atmosphere, in terms of muting down your colors, cooling down your colors, warming them up, really selling the roundness of an object with more than just black and white. People used to just get a portrait of their dog in a frame, and now they ask for, you know, a portrait of their dog dressed like a scientist because he seems to think about things more than other dogs. People are way more creative. It takes a tremendous amount of imagination to put it all together. What I love most about tattooing is just being able to challenge myself every day, honestly, because you don't know what's coming in through that door, even if you have a client. It's always something different. I have no idea what I'm gonna get myself into right now. I just know that I'm gonna use all the things that I've learned over the years, and I'm gonna try to do it to the best of my ability. I think that's the most fun thing about it. It's not even just being able to pay my bills doing something that I love. It's like I get to hang out with my friends who are constantly gonna tell me if I suck. And they aren't afraid to tell me, oh, you should try this, do this more. I love that with tattooing, there is no plateau. And if you feel you've reached one, that's a problem. Tattooing itself has shown me who I am more as a person than I think anything else that I've ever experienced has, because I get to be myself the most while I'm tattooing. New school artists are definitely not afraid to show that we are fun people and that we have fun. Everything that we draw is sort of like a reflection of what is inside of us. Everyone has a certain presence to them, a certain energy, and if you want to have fun and you're not a miserable prick, then you're going to have fun here. Everything is kind of changing in tattooing so rapidly. Inks are getting better, and people are taking care of their skin better. I mean, everyone ages, and everything's going to look like shit when you're 80, and that's okay. All I can really say for myself is that I hope everything just keeps going like it's going. New school is fun. It can be goofy. And as long as I have fun drawing what I'm drawing, that's a pretty good life. I've always thought differently about tattooing right from the very beginning. It didn't make sense to me to be constantly putting the same images on people. It was interesting to me to give people more options about what they could get tattooed. I was always really interested in tattooing in a way that looked more like fine art. The transition of the color, the smoothness and brightness, I was just, I want to do this. There was a lot of flack from other tattoo artists. A lot of traditional tattoo artists didn't really understand what the work was about. A lot of my friends and peers thought I was absolutely nuts. <laughs> like, totally nuts. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I had my apprenticeship in a street shop. And you know, at the time I was taught that you start with a black outline and then you basically, you shade all of the color into it but it sort of didn't make that much sense to me if somebody wanted something to look realistic to throw a black outline around it. So initially I was just freehanding a lot of it. And the thing that I would always hear when people looked at my portfolio was like, wow, I've never seen anything like this. It looks like watercolor. And it was always sort of funny to me because I've actually never even worked with watercolor ever. <laughs> When I started tattooing, I was a very traditional tattoo artist. And then after about three or four years, I started to experiment. Started adding paint splatters and drips and watercolor elements into the tattoos. And little by little streamlined that into the style that I do now. I like to incorporate watercolor elements into my work, often as background elements or different layers. I do a lot of watercolor painting, so the style of coloring is part of what informs my tattooing as well. My background is realistic style, so I still like very into realistic detail. 
and I put watercolor style around it so it can make the design more like fun and interesting. <laughs> For color work, I start with a gray line. So technically everything I do does actually have a black outline. It's just mixed with water and hidden underneath the color. Some of the elements of a watercolor tattoo would be washes of color, drips, splatters. It's loose. I guess it's a really good word for it. I like to layer the tattooing the same way that I would layer a painting. So most of what I do requires multiple sessions to get the correct amount of saturation and detail. I made this image for her, a half illustrative way and half watercolor style. Watercolor tattoo style is very bright and beautiful and whimsical. So a lot of people who are against tattoo even think differently now. And I think it's really good for tattoo industry. I think Amanda is one of the, the artists that she was pushing an envelope well before anybody else started experimenting with stuff. I initially just started to kind of talk to a lot of my friends and clients about this weird idea that I had about, you know, what would an abstract tattoo look like? She was the only other person I had ever seen do anything like that, and she took it into a completely different direction that no one else has tried, so it was super inspiring. I feel like I've never really completely fit into the industry. I've always just had very different ideas, so I just decided I was gonna do whatever the f I wanted. I saw Sasha Unisex work from her Instagram. It is so different. It was so original and so cute. Andras was one of the artists that, when I looked at his stuff, I, it was like nothing else I'd seen before. Little by little, the trend caught on and it became watercolor tattoos. And more and more artists sort of took a leap of faith that these tattoos will have longevity. There are definitely critics who do not approve of no outline tattoos with minimal use of black, if not no black. People would make claims that the longevity of the tattoos weren't gonna hold up and that the, the work wasn't uh, sound. With color work, it may soften up over time, but it's not something that's going to disappear. I mean, you'd really have to get a lot of UV damage, which would be the same as putting a painting in a brightly lit window. Every tattoo is going to age. Um, every tattoo will probably need to be touched up eventually, but there's a whole lot more that you can do with a color tattoo, and there's a whole lot less that you can do with a very heavy black tattoo. The criticism doesn't really hold water. It doesn't hold water. <laughs> it's, it's a style. It's a preference in style, I think. And that said, this is seven years old. So, you know, <laughs> proving it every day. All of a sudden, this watercolor started to like spread out like on Facebook and everywhere. More and more people are doing it, more and more people want it. It's different. People are tired of getting the same tattoo that's been done for a hundred years. I think the more that artists are attracted to the medium, the bigger it will be and the more innovative it will become. I really want people to see that, um, you know, a tattoo machine is just a tool and, you know, there's so much more that can be done with it in terms of looking at it as an art form. I think tattoo artist is one of the best job in the world. You can give someone happiness every day. It's something that I really enjoy that I never want to stop doing. And the more I can do original art as a tattoo, the more that that's, it's even more fun to do. It's incredible to be an artist. It's taken me 40 years to realize and to finally get to the point in my life where like, that's what I get to be. That's my day-to-day -day life now. And it's, uh, ah, it's cool. Excuse me, I guess I can't say that. It's cool. It's cool. It's exciting for me to try to create something unique and special for that one person at that time. 
and you have a very intense connection and interaction with that person, and then it's over. And then there is a new person to meet and learn something from. Artists, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination, tattooing a neo-traditional lady head. You have six hours to face off, and your time starts now. Let's get your stencil put on. Stand up. Lady heads are a tough thing for a lot of artists, and there's a style that goes into them, making the eyes a little bit bigger, exaggerating certain features. If these guys don't hit some of those tricks, it's gonna be obvious and the ugliest lady is gonna lose. That looks great. Right? Yeah. All right, good luck, brother. Thank you. You do like a little portrait of yourself. No, it's not me. It Why looks is everybody just like saying you. that? I choose to do a Native American lady face because it's a subject matter that I love, so I'm hoping that it shows in my tattoo. This is my artist dream. All of you can off who say that I don't have any. <laughs> For Alexis to drag me down there when I didn't earn my way there, I'm not thinking about anything other than sending Alexis home. They woke in a fire in her. Yeah, she's proving that she wants to be here, so. I'm impressed. I picked Ash because I'm just like, shit, well, I know I can beat her. Better not do a wall to wall. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Slap you. I know she's gonna resent me. I know my team's gonna resent me. And that sucks too. So now I've got that on my shoulders as well. She learned so strangely. I mean, I've been like, you know what I mean? What are you guys saying under your breath? I'm right here. Take it loose. No, no, we're Step commenting on your lining uh, technique. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so much pressure right now. I really, really want to get out of this low place that I'm in. Alexis chose to do a full frontal. It's very aggressive. That's the hardest thing to do. All that Getting the symmetrical eyes. If you have one wonky eye, you have like... I think it shows like skill. Like, that's what I'm saying. If you do it well, yes. Yeah. More room for error. Remaining. Come and look at what you're doing, man. I think our lines look good. You gotta go super, super bright. Yeah, this is too dark. I'm gonna sit over here and play with this with the colored pencils and like try and get you some ideas. Okay. So the guys are suggesting a color palette that will be brighter. I'm not used to bright colors. So here's like an idea where I was thinking in the round, you could add black going into brown, into yellow, and you could do red, and then everything breathes from the front and it looks like a light source and it would be real nice. Do you think so? Yeah, leave one alone, Pawn. Don't overwhelm the dude with too many freaking opinions. There's too many voices, and now I'm going on a different direction. Oh, it's crazy. Being told what to do. Yeah. I cannot believe that it's happening again. It's really hard to do the perfect lines when your canvas is kicking. I'm gonna need to tell Pony to put her canvas in a more comfortable position. She doesn't look very comfortable. And yeah, she's twitching like crazy. You're gonna twitch more if you're strained and if you're relaxed. I'm giving her another pillow, especially under her leg. It's gonna keep her more stable. If you put it uh, like under here mm -hmm. and then move that one yeah, down a little bit. Yeah, that's true. I moved to America to make my dreams come true. I live in a car and I gave up to see my family. I have to know that this sacrifice is worth it. I'm not ready to go home. She just needs to pick up the pace a little Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Check her out. Oh yeah, she's a babe. <laughs> cool. All done? I love it. Yay. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I love it. Well, I hope I don't go home now. Oh, Boy, the girls, they put really cool tricks. Really, really cool. nice. Basically. Yes, but yours is the brightest. 
Yeah. Are you feeling good about this? I don't feel good about anything anymore. Every time I feel good about something, they hate it. So I'm just like, they're gonna hate it and I'll probably go home for it. You and Ash, I think you're golden. Yeah, but that's even worse because now I have to deal with that if I don't go. She'll get over it. You're all done. <laughs>
That's a big tattoo, man. Gotta be that big. Dude, it's gonna take forever. Less is more, because that's a lot of work, Tito. Dude, I feel like Sketchy might be stressing right now. Think so? Look at him. Man, I think Tito was given a tough one. It's gonna be hard for him to come out of that. Eric got hit really hard, too. And those sunflowers that Savon got, crazy, man. I think Kevin was helping the girls out. No doubt. A wolf is the best thing Kelly could ever got. That's oh like my her, gosh. her thing. He thinks that the girl's are not gonna take him out after there's not too many people left. She's crazy. I'm just hoping Kevin knocks himself out with the one he shows. All right, Team Nunez, you have six hours to create a legible watercolor tattoo. And your time begins now. Woo! Do this. So I'm gonna have you stand right here. Team Nunez is coming off a pretty bad glass challenge, and they come right into watercolor tattoos. It's gonna be dope, I like that a lot. The thing about watercolor tattoos, a lot of them are just abstract and having to create something that shows legibility is a tough challenge. <laughs> Bleeding, can't look. This is the first time in the competition that I'm finally allowed to do color. So my strategy is to do an absolute color bomb with this tattoo. I like the design. It's gonna have like a frosted kind of look to it. It's a good day for Kelly. Oh. That one spot killed. A lot of adrenaline running through me right now. Good. Get that adrenaline buzz. <laughs> Kevin gave me the tattoo that I wanted, and I'm so stoked. Coming off of that flash challenge, I need to kill it in this tattoo. I'm going to get whatever strength I have left and just pull it all out and do a killer job. I felt like you had the funnest one. The funnest? Yeah. I was like, Kevin, you don't want hers? I'm just surprised he didn't take her. Yeah. I mean, I would have. <laughs> yeah. What up, cuz? Hey, going cut. I can't believe Kevin took that turn up here, bro. I would have took that part and been done with it. Been done with it. He made it clear that I'm not riding with y'all. He blessed a couple people. Yeah, the people you didn't, you didn't think he would, though. And it was intentional, too. Was it? Yeah. Blessed them on purpose. Three hours to go, Team Nunez. First watercolor tattoo. Yeah, so at least I could say your first watercolor tattoo was for hundred thousand dollars. I think Kevin's crazy for taking the hardest tattoo of the day. The thing that is gonna win this competition is getting people out of your way. Man, I keep telling these cats like it ain't close enough to taste it or smell it yet. You know what I mean? The girls understand what's going on, and if these peckers are smart, they would definitely go after the girls. But these guys are just sitting back, thinking that the tattoos are gonna carry them all the way through, and it's not gonna happen. Relax. It's hard to relax when you stab me with a needle. This butthead finally takes some of my advice. Now we got a design that both of us can agree on. But now my canvas is jumping, he's pulling away. I don't know whether to call this guy a pain in the ass or a dick, so I think I'm gonna call him both. It'll get easy as we go, man. What, my arm's gonna get numb? <laughs> is that why? What's going on, man? How are you? Oh, we're adding on to what you already had. I see. Yeah, he's working it in. Yeah, I'm gonna grow from there. I was like a swing. Like oh, a I see, I see, fairy, I see. Fer uh, fairy going to swing and all the fairy over here. This girl won Celtics, fairies, moon, tree of life, background. Is the rest of that tree gonna be something? No, it's gonna be black. This is not easy to take, but I'm not here for easy. Whatever you tell me to do, I'm gonna make it happen. Final hour, Team Nunez, final hour. This canvas asked for a watercolor wild orchid on her sternum. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You want to outline everything black? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that the inside, this flower should be like minimal outline. Of all the canvases, even though this is the one that I feel the most comfortable with tattooing because I feel like it complements my style the most, it's the least legible subject matter. Let's do this. Outline on the outside, mm -hmm. the inside, no outline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be hella, hella risky. I kind of feel like I shot myself in the foot. What do you think? I think your boy Tito's in big trouble. Doing all that Celtic, he's gonna get killed on technical. Siobhan, that's my concern because he's doing a little bit of fine line black and then he's gonna 
pound that thing full. And then Kevin, I have the feeling he's not going to outline the inside of the diamond. And that's going to be a killer for him. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Take a look. Oh, my god. That looks amazing. Thanks, man. Check it out in the mirror. Nice. I like what I see. Servan had a hard time. I don't think he understands what a watercolor tattoo is. It's kind of a mess. Hey, YouTube. It's Chris Nunez. Don't forget to subscribe to Spike's channel. OK, artists, you have six hours to tattoo Zeus or Hades. And your time starts now. Woo! Get him, team. Right. First and foremost, get that stencil on, and okay. then we'll rock and roll. Today, we're testing proportions. Are you going to do more stuff right here? I'm just focusing on this for the time frame. The proportions have to be on. The dimensions between two eyes, a nose, a mouth, the structure of a face, the shape or size of a body, all have to be perfect. Ah, oh, judges for a day, huh? Got to weed them out. Only a strong survive. Yeah. Good luck. You too, bud. Ready to rock and roll? Yes. Should be all right. I'm going to say one thing. I did like the dopest tattoo of the day, and I couldn't win because of direction. They wanted it facing out on the forearm. They look at it when your arm's down. If they don't see the head or something when your arm's down, you know what I'm saying? Think I should flip it? Yeah. All right, let me clean this off. Well, I don't want to go home for that Thanks, coach. You can draw when you're a badass artist. So with that being said, that is a statue of Hercules. I used the wrong reference. Add some horns. Some horns? We need to sell that presence of underworld. I'm worried Anthony already has a notion in his mind that I'm going to be the weakest link. I got to make sure that he sees what I can do and wants to keep me around. Super nice, dude. Thank you. I've been underestimated my entire life. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I'm here to do. If they want to sleep on me, let them. That's smooth, man. Thank you, buddy. You have four hours remaining. That is probably the cleanest tattoo in this room. I want to keep it simple so you can see that. My strategy at this point is survival. I don't tattoo bodies. I don't usually tattoo flames. I'm going to do more of a fade with the ones in the front and keep him super light. I like it. Having to do something that's so outside of my comfort zone is really, really hard. DJ's making the call. I have to make sure everything's perfect. Is he going to be going from behind, or is there like clouds, or is this going to be like? It's definitely going to be lighter, because I want this to be the darkest part of the whole thing. I came into this team because I wanted to be around the best artists, and now I have to compete against my own teammates. I have to beat all of them now. You see, like, this shape under the nose? I haven't tattooed this style of tattooing in almost 10 years. From the side of that nostril, almost V's on both. You see, you have this, oh, like, this. OK, OK, OK. DJ's helped me throughout this whole tattoo. I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm going to hit the challenge. How are you? Getting nervous, getting nervous. I'm not as confident as I should be in this tattoo. This background is starting to get away from me a little bit. DJ's hardly around because he's hovering over the rest of the team so much. I'm nervous, but I trust my coach. I got four beautiful boys and a beautiful wife. They're giving up a lot for me to be here. My wife is a teacher. While she's at school, I'm at home, daddy daycare all the way. I have to tattoo at night, but we make it work. I need to do whatever it takes for me to be able to stay. Final hour. This is your final hour. Right now, I'm super confident of Zeus's face, so I'm going to add the Pegasus. Just make sure that it doesn't look like two pieces when it's done, you know? Oh, yeah. Steve hit me with a curveball, and I'm going to make him eat his words. I looked at everybody else's, and at least I'm doing something different. I'm not feeling crazy confident, but I know that I'm really good at color. So the best thing I can do is just make sure that my tattoo is technically sound. Jason's is weird, but I like it. It's I clean. like it, too. It's but clean. It is clean. It's no, proportion. It's proportion. Yeah. Eyes that are drawn, he made it up. You can't say those are right. But it comes down to this. You guys are sending the ones home you want. At the end of the day, you make the choice. Five, four, three, two, one.
one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. We made it. No way. I love it. Yeah, I'm stoked on how it came out. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. Did you end up doing the Pegasus? Yeah. A big old head and a tiny ass horse. How is that proportional? I know that you don't see things around you because you're blinded by your own beauty, but there's stuff in the background in life. 